ready for a great Christmas vacation. Let me hear make some noise. This is so cool. Like I can literally almost touch both sides. I'm going on a cruise. That is the Norwegian getaway. And I'm on a 13 day cruise from Southampton in the UK all the way to New York City. We're gonna be stopping in Spain, Portugal and France. And I'm gonna be taking you along the way. So hit the subscribe and let's go and board. Super easy check-in process. They did have to check my visa because of course we're going to America, but I have an ESTA and here is my ship card. And my name is actually Ben, it's not Benjamin. You need to choose a time that you come and check in. So I chose 12 to 12.30 and it's currently 11.40, so I'm early. So they're giving me a boarding card. So they just called number 30 and I'm 33, so just waiting. The demographic is definitely older people. I'm definitely the youngest person I've seen and I've seen zero kids, none. We've just been called 33, let's go. All security checks done. Let's go to the gangway, let's board the ship. Hello. Welcome on board. We're not gonna play with this. Wow, everything is so overwhelming. There's so much to see, I don't know where to go first. My aim is to not take the elevator the whole cruise. Let's see how long that lasts. I think I can definitely not take it down. I can walk down, but going up, maybe elevator. I think I can go to deck 15 to eat lunch at the buffet. Let's see. So my cabin is on deck 11 and you can't go there until 2.30 and it's currently 12.30. So we have a little bit of time to look around, but wait until you see my cabin. Wow, this place is absolutely massive. I just stepped outside. I think this is the pool deck, but yeah, the buffet has everything you can imagine. Does it make me a bad person that when I saw all of the elderly people, the first thing I thought was, yes, there's gonna be no line for the slide. We got people in the pool already. Got space up here for a singer or a DJ. Come right to the top deck. Let's take a look at Southampton. Nice weather today, it was raining, really raining yesterday, but we've got a nice day today. There you go, that's the view. Got the kids pulled down here, I don't think it's going to be busy this cruise. Still have not seen any children. Let's go back to the buffet, get something to eat. I'm really going to try my best to eat healthy this cruise, but it's not going to happen. Delicious first lunch. I think cruising is a lot about food. So I'm very excited to eat my way through this cruise ship But let's go and take a look around. I'm definitely not a cruise expert and I don't really know about like reservations and stuff I did make there's three dining rooms here and I made a reservation for all of them But I don't know if I can't make any more reservations now. It is currently one o'clock Like I said cabins are not available until 2 30. My cabin is on deck 11 I'm trying to find guest services. I was told it's deck six, but I want to try and get a paper schedule or like a daily planner. I'm not going to wait in there. There's so much drama. People complaining already. They're just boarded. Here's the art gallery. How is this thing floating? There's so many people, 6,000 people on this cruise. It's amazing. Look at these cool elevators. They're huge. So cool. Look at this place, they have a full arcade. So cool. Wow. Got the obstacle course. So great. 
Looks like basketball up here. How sick is this? It's so cool. And they have the net covering it so no balls can go overboard. Here's the entrance to the trail course. Goes up and all the way over the basketball court. But I don't really know like what's included. Like can you do that or... Yeah, I don't know much. But like I said before, the average age on this cruise is like 60. So I don't think there's gonna be lines for anything. Here's the teens club. This is 13 to 17, so I'm guessing they have a kids club somewhere. Right at the back of the ship, this is H2O Spice. This is an adults only area. I'm guessing they have like movies and stuff here. So cool. Here's the American diner. Now I know this one is a specialty restaurant, so the prices are here, so it's not included with your cruise. Gentlemen, this is PJ, your assistant cruise director speaking, and I'd like to warmly welcome you all on board our beautiful Norwegian getaway. Now may I have your attention please? Your full attention please. This is Oshian's Irish bar. This one is included in your cruise price. Just next to Oshian's is the theatre. So I just made some reservations. There's two specialty shows on Sea Day, C Day 1 and Sea Day 5. I made reservations to see the show. Now, of course, there's shows every night, but you don't need reservations for all of them, only the specialty ones. As you can see, every single night without reservation, and it's just first come, first serve. I didn't hear an announcement, but it looks like the cabins are ready. So let's go and find our cabin. We had deck 11 forward and of course I was in the aft, I was in the back of the ship, so we're walking all the way down. And by the way, people here are so kind. Oh my gosh, everyone's in such a good mood. Of course the crew are so kind, but everybody's in a good mood. I've been walking up and down for like 10 minutes. I definitely don't see it. Now we're talking. Here we go, five, three, five. Right, are you ready for this? Look at this place. How cool is that? So if you haven't guessed, I'm cruising alone. And this is a studio cabin, so it's specialized for one person. Look at it. 100 square feet. Got the bathroom right here. Separate shower. So cool, so much storage. Here's a hairdryer. Storage down here. Storage here to hang stuff. More storage here to hang stuff. Storage here. Even this is storage. So cool. Wow, 100 square feet. And there's also storage under the bed. This is so cool. Like I can literally almost touch both sides. How cool is this? Wow, all for me. I'm so excited for this cruise. So I'm deck 11 forward. And I'll show you in a minute why I couldn't find my room because it's a very specialized area that I missed it like three times, but so cool. Amazing. And the great thing about Norwegian is that they offer prices for one person, which sounds strange that the other cruise lines don't do that. But of course, most cabins are designed for two people. But if you cruise alone with some other cruise lines, they're gonna charge you for two people because you're taking the space of two people basically. But Norwegian has a special studio cabin. That's what this is, studio cabin. So I only paid for me, but if I, like I said, if I cruise with another cruise line, I would need to pay for two people. Shout out to Norwegian cruise line. It's so cool that they're thinking about solo travelers because there's a lot and I'll show you this area in a second because this area is just for studio cabins. That's why I missed it, like I said, but I did read recently that other cruise lines are starting to do this because it seems kind of unfair, right? Because if you cruise alone, they're gonna charge you for two people because you're taking the space of two people. I understand both sides, but I don't wanna pay for two people because I'm cruising alone. Norwegian Cruise Line. Because I only paid for one person, let me tell you, this cruise was an absolute bargain. You'll be surprised how much it costs. I'm gonna tell you later, but you'll be very, very surprised how much I paid for this 13 day cruise from the UK to US. So this is called Freestyle Daily. This is basically the daily planner and it has every single event that's going on for the whole day and where everything is on the ship. Very, very useful. It's also on the app as well, Norwegian Cruise Line app. So I can show you that as well. If I click right here, I have the same Freestyle Daily that I have right here on the app. So cool. And it's, of course it's gonna change every single day because there's new events every day. So let me show you how I kept missing my room. So like I said, I walked all the way around, but like I said, it's a studio cabin, so studios. So let's go in. And then here's all the studio cabins. That's why I missed it. So my cabin is right down to the end, but they also have the studio lounge. This is just for people staying 
in studio cabins. This is so cool. I had no idea there was a studio lounge. No idea. Amazing. So like I said, my cabin's deck 11 forward. I'm so excited. I think this is the kids club. Splash Academy. I have a feeling they're not gonna be that busy this cruise. I've seen a few kids, but not many. I did do a tour of the spa. I'm considering doing a massage. They are pretty expensive, but it just sounds so amazing. Back on the pool deck, I'm definitely gonna be swimming sometime this cruise. Definitely going on the slides too, but the weather's not supposed to be that good. Of course, it's almost November, and we're going to Spain, Portugal, and France, and then finishing in New York. That was the emergency alarm. The first thing I did when I boarded the ship was go to my emergency station. Mine is A8. It is 5.45 now. The ship is sailing away at 5 p.m. and there's a sail away party on the pool deck. Let's go. Everyone's in such a good mood, hanging out, having a good time. It's just raining, it's just, it's just started to rain just a little bit, so I hope it doesn't ruin it, but everybody's having a good time. Rainbow. Who's ready for a great cruise vacation? Let me hear that some noise. We have officially set sail. Goodbye, Southampton. It's extremely difficult to be bored on a cruise ship. There's so much going on, there's so much to do, there's so many places to go. And of course, it's absolutely beautiful. Amazing. So I just went to the spa raffle, didn't win, but that's okay. And they had a special prize for booking a massage today. So I booked it, I'm so excited. <laughs> It's 6.30 right now, so it's dinner time. So I've come to Oshian's, it's the bar and grill. And it's 24 hours, so you can come here anytime you want. Delicious dinner. Here's an example of so much going on. They're just about to start a game show down here. The main theater has a show going on. The pool deck has a party. There's so much going on. Keep going and be able to discover the message here. Okay? So we're going to start with King. So much fun, people enjoying themselves. I didn't even see there's a bowling alley here. How crazy is this? Anyway, the theater's right here. We're just in time for the show. Ladies and gentlemen. Very talented singer, but not really my style. You want to see something terrifying? The darkness of the ocean. There's not many things more terrifying. If you've never done a cruise or you've never considered doing a cruise, definitely do it. It's so cool. Everything you can imagine is right here. So it's so different from a hotel because you don't need to go far for anything. Everything you need is within a five minute walk. I can definitely feel the ship swaying. I'm gonna head up to the buffet because I'm gonna eat again, of course. I would say most of the people that I've heard on this cruise, Americans, definitely Americans, some British, but also surprisingly Chinese. There's quite a few Chinese people. That hot tub might be calling my name, feels so good. Access to food here is gonna be dangerous. It's so delicious. They're doing fresh crepes over here. I've already eaten so much and it's day one. How is this thing floating? Prison, that's where I want 
to stay. That was so much fun, that's the best thing I've done today. Dueling pianos, so good. You see what I mean? There's fun around every corner. I'm so happy. Currently 9.30, I'm heading back inside the theater. There's a comedy show about to start. That was the adult comedy show called Levity Live. So funny. Two guys that was on the comedy store. Everybody clap your hands. I was just thinking something. It's 10.30 and I haven't seen my suitcase yet. Is it on board? I, I haven't seen it, I don't know where it is. I'm just coming to my cabin now. I hope it's outside, is it? Yes, there it is. I am back in my studio cabin now. Of course, I would do a tour, so stick around for that, hit the subscribe. But tomorrow we're in France, the north of France, La Herve, and time notice go forward tomorrow because we change time zones. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I jumped around a bit, but I wanted to get a feel of the ship on the first day, but oh, I'm so happy. I'm so excited to be here. If you're excited, if you want to see what it's like to cruise solo on the Norwegian getaway, then hit the subscribe because we're going to be on a 13 day cruise. See you next time. The next train to Paris is in two hours, so I'm not gonna make it to Paris today. People are losing big money. People are betting big and losing big. Good morning and welcome to day two of a 13 day cruise. Welcome to the north of France, La Herve. Ooh, it's a cold day today. I have a bit of a dilemma because it's 10 a.m. and all aboard time is 7.30. So I have nine hours and Paris is two hours away. Should I go for it or not? It might seem like I have a lot of time, but ships don't wait for you. So if you miss it, you miss it. There's not much going on in La Herve, to be honest. This is where Normandy is, so there's a lot of uh, World War stuff, which I'm not too interested in, but I've been to Paris many times. So if I don't go there today, it's okay, but I'd rather go there. It did look like a lot of people decided to stay on the ship today because of the, the weather's not great, but the weather doesn't affect what I do today. It's just about the time. And of course, I don't want to miss the ship because it's not going to wait for me. But I'm heading to the La Herve train station right now to see what the situation is, what time the trains are, because if I can get there, then I'm going to get there. But if I can't, it's okay. If you miss me embarking, then go and watch the last video because this cruise goes to Spain, Portugal and France and we're going to end in New York. This is the first port day. There it goes. The time I got here, the train was leaving in one minute, so I wasn't gonna make it, but it's okay. The next train to Paris is in two hours, so I'm not gonna make it to Paris today. It's definitely not risking it being on a cruise because like I said, the ship is not gonna wait for you. I did make a small mistake this morning. I woke up an hour later than I expected because the clock's changed. I've never been to La Herve before, so I might as well look around before I go back to the ship. There's a few cool things that I want to see, so let's take a look. And when I got off the ship, there was a shuttle there and you can buy a 24 hour transport ticket for La Herve. Definitely do it. Don't walk out the port because you'll be walking for like 30 minutes just to get out the port. So definitely buy the transport ticket. This church is our first stop today. This is the Iglesia Saint Joseph. Let's take a look. Doesn't look like a church.
How amazing is that? Wow, I've never ever seen a church like this, so unique. See the staircase? This is a staircase. Wow, I bet that view's so amazing. Here's the name. That was absolutely beautiful. One of the best, amazing churches I've ever been to. So cool. If, if you're ever in La Chave, definitely check it out. Let's move on to our next destination. La Chave is very, very peaceful. It is a Monday morning, but there's not many people around. Very nice place. That is our next destination. And the ship is right there. Norwegian getaway. Let's go inside. That is the Cathedral Notre Dame. So cool, so unique again. Again, another beautiful church. It's kind of ruined by the nets, but it's okay. Really cool, really cool organ. That was cool, not as impressive as the first one, but let's take a look at the ship and see how close we can get. There it is, Norwegian getaway. How is this thing floating? All of those people on there, I think it's 4,000 guests and 1,600 crew. Wow. I think it's time to take the shuttle back to the ship. I feel like it's getting colder and colder. Back on the ship, 12.30 now, let's go and eat. That's where I was before, I was taking pictures right there. Chicken and pasta today. Oh, it's chilly. I think it's hot tub time. I just spent like two hours in the hot tub talking to so many interesting cool people. One guy was like an aerospace engineer. Then a couple came. They're like rich people, like super rich people. So interesting. Two hours. It's currently 5.30. So I just showered, going to get changed. And then we have a late dinner tonight. We go into one of the dining rooms. So we're going to watch a show first, but let's change. And we are ready to go. Today's outfit, got the black shoes, cream chinos, black t-shirt, and the red shirt over. What do you think? Let's go. I'm so glad I didn't go to Paris because I think I would just be getting back right now. Nah, it was too far. I have no set plans until dinner, to be honest. Now it's 6.30, there's a show at 7.30, and then dinner is at 8.30, but there's a few musicians, there's game shows, there's a lot going on, so let's see what we can find. I have my first negative about this cruise. I watched the game show yesterday and that game show, they're so boring. They're very, very slow. I don't know if it's the host, I don't know if it's the games, I really don't know, but the game, game shows are not very exciting. Last night there was a comedy show and both of the comics were so funny and they have their own show in one of the smaller bars tonight, so I'm gonna go watch one of them right now. Like, it's just so slow. I don't know if it's the people doing the games. I don't know if it's the games itself. I don't know if it's the host. I don't know, but they're so slow. We're gonna head inside Headliners right here. This is where the comedy show is. Y'all, we went through something as a country and a world. Dog had a cleft lip. <laughs> Poor thing, the top lip wouldn't match the bottom lip. He couldn't even bark with the rest of it. Shows are so funny. I'm trying to see a little bit of everything. There's a theater show starting right now. I think it's a singing group. So let's go to the theater. Unfortunately, no filming is allowed inside the theater, but oh my gosh, they are so 
talented. It's like an opera slash pop group. So they mix in like classical songs and theater. And it's really, really cool. My dinner reservation is 8.30, but it's currently eight and I'm so hungry. So I'm gonna try and see if I can eat early. Most ships just have one main dining room, but this ship has three. And tonight I'm eating at the Tropicana room. They were able to seat me 13 minutes early and the menu looks delicious. The great thing about a cruise ship is if you want to have two entrees, then you have two entrees. It's so cool, you get whatever you want. I went for the beef barley soup and the New York strip steak. And I also I was so close to getting the chicken breast, but she said, just get both. But I'm gonna get the steak first and then maybe I'll get the chicken breast. This is the dessert. Couldn't decide, so I got warm apple strudel. Yeah, thank you. Couldn't decide, so I got warm apple strudel and white chocolate amaretto cake. Oh my gosh, that was so amazing. My first dinner in the main dining room, everything was perfect. I love the New York strip, but the chicken, the sauce the chicken was in was so delicious. And of course the desserts were delicious as well. Like I said, you get whatever you want. If you want three entrees, then you get three entrees. Of course, don't waste it, but you get whatever you want. It's currently 9.15. There's another comedian going on in Headliners, so I'm gonna go check it out. Looks like I'm too late, oh no. I love that there's so much going on, but I love that I can pick and choose how long I stay. So for example, if I wanna watch this show for 10 minutes and go do something else, then I can do that. I've just been watching the casino, it's right behind me. People are losing big money. People are betting big and losing big. I was too late to watch the first comedian in Headliners, but the second comedian is starting at 11. It's 10.40, I think I'm gonna go inside now to make sure that I get a space. Wow, what a day. I'm currently in the studio's lounge. This lounge is only for people staying in a studio. If you don't know what a studio is, it's cabins just for one person. That's where I'm staying in. They're, they're super small, the smallest cabin at sea. Let me show you around. Got some cookies, cake, coffee. Got some wine over here. There's a bartender here from five to seven. This is just for people staying in studios. I know I haven't showed you much of the entertainment, but you're not allowed to, you're not allowed to film any of the show. So I'm gonna try my best to explain what the show is like and what I think, if it's good or not. Cause there's some shows that are really, really good. Some of them have not been good. It is now 12.30, so I'm gonna head back to my cabin. Tomorrow is a sea day. If you wanna see more fun from the Norwegian getaway, then hit the subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. The ship is rocking a lot. I've heard so many people complaining that they feel sick. The best show I've ever seen in my life. Ever, 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 ever. That was unbelievable. It is a rough day at sea today. Welcome back to the Norwegian getaway. You know the weather is bad when every single piece of gym equipment is taken. Everybody's in the gym. It's definitely gonna be an inside day today. There's a lot of activities going on. Like I said, it's a sea day, so there's a lot going on. I'm heading down to the atrium right now because there's a Q&A with, I think, the cruise director and some of the other senior staff. So let's see what's going on. I did sleep in late today. It's currently 11, so 
late start today. I woke up to my wardrobe doors swinging open and closed because it's so rocky today. You can definitely feel the ship rocking. I still don't know how this thing is floating in the middle of the ocean. How? Le Bistro, one of the specialty restaurants. I did have dinner in one of the dining rooms last night. And I think I might just do that every single night because it's pretty easy to get a reservation because they're freestyle. And what freestyle means is you can go whenever you want. And most cruise lines, they have like a set time. So they have two sit-ins for dinner, usually maybe like 6.30 and 8.30, and you choose which one you go to. But here, if you want to go at seven, you go at seven, if they have space, of course. Here's two more of the main dining rooms. This is Saver and this is Taste. I think I'm going to Saver tomorrow night, but I just went the wrong way. Look at all these people. Here's guest services. And this is the atrium. The cruise director's getting ready to speak. All of these people are waiting. Okay, but so far, how is your cruise doing so far? Are you having a great time so far on board an Allegiant getaway? Yes, okay. Cruise line uh, started as a photographer a long time ago. That was really interesting. They answered so many questions about the operation of running the ship. It's so complicated, way more complicated than people realize. The ship is rocking a lot. I've heard so many people complaining that they feel sick. Seasickness. Very rocky today. I'm gonna to head to Oceans, the bar and grill in the midship. And when there's bad weather, there's not much to do unless you're gambling or you're eating or drinking. If you're wondering, the casino opens at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. There's people have been here since 10 a.m. gambling, and it literally goes until like 2, 3 a.m. They have a trivia going on, and right here is Oceans. Oceans is included in your cruise price and this is the only restaurant that's open 24 hours a day So if you want to eat something at like 4 a.m. Your only option is room service or come here I was tempted to get the cheeseburger, but I went for the healthy option the chicken Caesar sandwich That was delicious. I'm gonna head to the garden cafe to get some dessert so many people in the hot tub It's not too cold. It's very windy though And I still need to do the slides at some point. They have a drop slide, so you stand there and then the floor gives way. But hopefully the weather's gonna improve. We have a lot of sea days coming up. Of course it's chocolate cake. I might have had three chocolate cakes anyway there's a deal or no deal game going on we have five more cases to open all right so christian whatever happened i love watching the casino people are losing so much money the only thing i know how to play is roulette most of the guests on the ship are americans americans are special breeds oh, i just come back to the ship to relax for a while before we play bingo in about an hour if you don't know, I speak Chinese and one of my favorite things to do is, there's a lot of Chinese people on the, on the ship. And my, one of my favorite things to do is just join in the conversations. And I've had some super funny reactions. This cruise, just listening to people and then just joining in because they don't expect me to speak Chinese. Booyah! Very good, nice, good start. So that means most focus on the second page, which is your green card. So the next one, N37. I was three numbers away from winning $500. A guy called Scott won $500, wow.
You see what I mean when I say there's always something going on. Now, there's an Asian restaurant here called Shanghai's and I'm gonna try and get a reservation for tonight. It is another complimentary restaurant, so it's included in your cruise, but it does fill up very quickly because it's specialty. So here it is, they said. They said there's no reservation, so you just show up. So it's 5.30 now, I want to eat at 6.30. He just said, just come back and hopefully there's a spot available. This is where I went last night. This is Tropicana. I'm going to go and change now and hopefully have dinner at 6.30 because there's a show at 7.30. It's a Broadway show, so you need a reservation for it and I have one. If you didn't know, I'm staying in the smallest cabin you can get on any cruise ship. Just take a look at this place. 100 square feet. It's designed just for one person. It's called a studio cabin. And every day you get information and then you get the schedule for the next day. So this is tomorrow. Tomorrow in La Coruña, Spain. There's going to be a full tour coming up. It's not going to take long, but you can see everything that this cabin has to offer. It's not just this cabin you get from staying in the studio too. There's something very special. It's time to take a shower. Let's get ready for the evening. And we are ready to go. Today's outfit, black and white Nikes, red chinos, and the long sleeve What's Up house. This is a Chinese brand. I think my plans are going to change today because it's now, it's 6.30 now. The show's at 7.30. And like I said, it's a reservation, so she, you need a reservation to go there. So they said get there early because it's going to be sold out, basically. So I don't want to rush going to Shanghai's and then I have to eat fast and I have to get to the show. So I'll go to Shanghai's another night. So we're going to the buffet. This is the studio cabin's corridor. So cool. But I'm so excited that I get a chance to wear nicer clothes because I, in real life, I don't have any opportunities to wear nice clothes. And I found my lanyard. I knew I had it somewhere, but I just found it. We're going up to 15 Garden Cafe. It's still very windy. It's been windy all day and it's raining again. I think the slides are still open so you can do the slide. This is the drop ones. There's two of them. You just stand there and then the floor gives way and then you go all the way around. The show is at the show is at 7:30 so I want to eat not quickly but I want to eat and then get to the show. I ate three chocolate cakes at lunch, so I need to get dessert, but I'm trying to get something not chocolate cake. I'm weak, okay? I'm weak. Tonight's show is called Burn the Floor. Take a trip through the melting pot of the streets of Havana to the Latin Quarter. Feel the procession rhythm of the samba, the sizzling, Cuban beats of salsa and the flirtatious pulse of the rumba. Yesterday's dance with today's attitude, the rebellious spirit that is burn the floor. Here's the atrium. This is where all the game shows happen. There's a trivia going on right now and then the theater is this way. Like, seriously, I'm absolutely speechless. That was amazing. Like the best show I've ever seen in my life. Ever, 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 ever. That was unbelievable. Like I'm actually lost for word. That was absolutely stunning. All of the dancers, all of the singers in that, so talented, absolutely amazing. Anyway, there's a game show about to start, but the dueling pianos, which I saw, I think the first night are on right now. So I'm gonna go check them out. Never mind, it hasn't started yet. It's 8.40, I thought it started at 8.30, but now it starts at 9. 
and I can show you. So there's two pianos here and two ladies come and they play together and people make requests. It's really funny, it's like a comedy piano show but they play together like two pianos is so good. I love watching people play in the casino. I'm gonna play it sometime but there's so much pressure because they play so fast and everybody knows what they're doing but there's a newlywed game going on right now, it's so funny. Letter A. A! Wow, powers, New Year's Eve. That was so funny. I have to say, before I did say that the game shows have not been that good, but they have got better today. Let's check out the pianos. It's 11.30 and I'm gonna have a second dinner. I'm at Oceans again, because like I said, it's open 24 hours, so I'm having Caesar salad with chicken and then a cheeseburger. I am quickly realizing that the best part about cruises I can't even show you because no filming is allowed in the show. The show today was absolutely amazing, like beyond, I can't even describe it, it was so good. And I can't even show you it. Today was a very, very chill day. It was a sea day, plus the weather was so bad, so I couldn't go on the open deck at all. But hopefully things get better, the weather should get better. Plus tomorrow is a port day and then we have a few more port days coming up. So if you wanna see more, Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. And even though he made it, the crew is definitely gonna tell him off. I have to be honest, that was a disappointing experience. Welcome to Spain. Welcome to day four of my transatlantic cruise on the Norwegian getaway. Welcome to the north of Spain, rainy La Coruña. That is my home for the next 13 days. Yeah, the weather's rainy, but it's not cold. It's actually really nice out, but never been to La Coruña before. I've been to Spain many times, but north of Spain, nope. So we're gonna take a look around the city today. I love ports and airports like this one. The ship docks basically in the city center. Not like two days ago when I was in La Herve, France. You have to, it takes like 20 minutes just to get outside the port, but nope, here we're right in the city center already. Everybody knows those airports where you arrive and it takes like 20, 30 minutes just to get to the city. First up today is the Praza di Maria Prita. I do see some Christmas lights around the city, so they're getting ready for Christmas here in La Coruña. I think you can go inside here, so let's take a look. I thought it was a church, but no, it's a government building. Looks like there's a church over here we can go inside. cool things to see in the north of La Coruña. So let's take a walk through the city. If this is the first video of mine that you are seeing, I'm currently on a 13 day cruise from Southampton in the UK to New York City. And I don't plan on staying out for that long today. I think I'll go back in a few hours and go in the hot tub. And I also have dinner in one of the main dining rooms today. So hit the subscribe if you wanna see more. La Coruña seems like a very peaceful city. I don't know anything about this place. The only thing I know is they have a football team called Deportivo La Coruña. I think this is the smallest gas station I've ever seen. He has two pumps here. He has a small hut. And this is where people park. I'm absolutely loving this cruise so far. Like I said, it's day four. 
I'm staying in the smallest cabin you can on any cruise liner and I watched the Broadway show last night, so much fun. And like I said, main dining room tonight, so excited. For breakfast, I've just been going to the buffet. I went there this morning and pretty late start today. It's 12 o'clock, but like I said, the port is very close to the city and I don't plan on staying out for that long, but the weather's getting better. Norwegian does offer a lot of excursions in every single port, but one, they're very expensive very very expensive my cruise was very cheap i'm going to tell you later how much i paid for this 13 day cruise but it was very cheap and also the excursions are not really for me there's like wine tasting and like history of the city and stuff not for me but they're definitely aimed at the demographic on my cruise because the average age is like 60 and out of 4,000 guests there's like 50 kids and there's not many people like i said under 60 so it's definitely a relaxing cruise. It's a quiet cruise. I jinxed it because it's just started raining again. See a beach just down here. The temperature's not that cold. It is raining, but it's not a cold day today. But I just see a lady going in for a swim. Umbrella's coming out, so the sunglasses. But the weather should get better because every single port now, we're going south. So it should get higher temperatures and hopefully less rain, but it's been raining every day so far this cruise. Yesterday was a sea day, so the gym was packed and there was no one on the pool deck. There was people just sitting around reading and playing the game shows and stuff. So hopefully the weather gets better so we can sit on the pool deck. But the one advantage of the older crowd on this cruise is I have not seen a line for the water slides. So I still need to do the slides sometime. And the Norwegian getaway does not have an indoor pool, which it's okay. I thought they did, but no, nope, only outdoor. There's the beach. Can you see the lady swimming? She's right there. I think I need to step on the beach at least once, just in case the weather does not get better. And I can say that I stepped on the beach. There you go, it's a beach holiday. The ship is just around that corner. I bet this beach is packed in the summer. All of these people that live around here, I bet they come down. So cool. Another small beach down here. Tiny beach. One place I've never been is Stonehenge. I guess this is close enough. That is called the Menhurs for Peace, Lacaronia Stonehenge. to continue on a coastal walk. The sea's rough over here. Can you guess who that is? Hercules. That's where we're going, lighthouse. I'm definitely guilty of this, but I think people make the mistake of always visiting the same cities when they go to a country. For example, when people want to go to Spain, they're going to go to Barcelona or Madrid. But there's so many other options that are less touristy and they offer, I would say, more culture because if you go to Spain and you go to Barcelona, Madrid, is it going to be authentic? Probably not. But when you come to places like this, I think you get more. And I definitely need to start visiting less popular cities. Because I think you're going to get so much more culture from it. You're going to get a more authentic experience. Because I've been to most of the major cities, definitely in Europe. 
but many of them are around the world and I think you miss out on so much when you don't see the lesser known places, you know? Looks like we can't go inside. But this is what I was saying about less touristy places because this is a, one of the main tourist attractions in La Coruña. And if this was in Barcelona or Madrid, there'd be so many people trying to sell you stuff on the street and get very new. But here, they don't do that. Here's a riddle for you. There's a man that keeps his light off all day. The only time he turns his light on is when he goes to bed. Why? The answer is, he's a lighthouse keeper. That was cool. Check out the Tower of Hercules. I'm gonna walk inside the city center right now. Let's talk about travel again. So, if you've never been to England, should you go to London? Of course, London should be the first place that you visit but if you have a week don't stay a week in London go to another city and if you've already been to London and you want to go back to England go somewhere else the more and more I travel the more I see major cities becoming more touristy and less authentic and of course I'm a contributor to that because I'm a tourist but I think I'm going to start branching out and going to the less popular places. In the last six months I think I've been to 10 or 12 countries and they've all been major cities so I've definitely missed out on a lot but most of the countries that I've been to this year it was my first time so I had to go to a major city. I'm gonna head back to the ship I think the hot tub is calling me. Rain is pouring, let's eat instead of hot tub. I am going to the main dining room today at 8.45 but it's 5 so I'm going to have my first dinner. Here is the daily planner and all aboard time is 5.30 and it's currently 5.10 and this is where everybody needs to come to join the ship right there. So let's see if we have any runners today because the ship will not wait for you if you are late. It's 5.20, we have three people coming now. Are they the last ones? It is 5.30, anybody that comes now is officially late. We have a runner, we have a runner. 5.32, there's a guy running. He's running, he's running. He made it, he is extremely lucky. And even though he made it, the crew is definitely gonna tell him off. We are officially moving. 
to be honest, if you miss the port today, it's not really a big deal because the port we're going to tomorrow is only about 100 miles away. Ah, <sighs> six now. Entertainment that I want to watch begins at seven. So shower and change. Let's go. And we are ready to go. Today's outfit, black shoes, green chinos, and a red sweater. Let's go. It is currently 7 p.m. on the agenda tonight. The main theater show is a hypnotist. There's a hilarious comedian. There's a few game shows going on and a few bits in between. Oh, and dinner is 8.45 in the main dining room. Ooh. I think it's great that it shows you the dining availability tonight. And then it also gives you how much space at each time. So you choose where you want to go and then you see if there's space. And tonight I'm going to taste and you can see there's plenty of availability. No one ever wins. This is headliners. This is where the comedy show is, but there's a sign right there that says it's a full house, so you can't get in, you're too late. But there is another comedy show tonight at 11 that I'm gonna go to because the guy is hilarious. It's time to get hypnotized. I'm not gonna do it, I'm just gonna watch. But have you ever been hypnotized? Would you ever do it? Wow, that show was so much fun. People had no idea what was going on. It's so interesting and I wonder what it feels like. I watched a little bit of the casino and now it's time for dinner. It's 8.40, we're going to taste one of the dining rooms. Very, very nice menu here. I went for something called the Shanghai Pork, Shanghai Pork Pot Stickers and I got the rotisserie chicken. I was gonna get a New York strip steak again, but I had that two days ago. So. Turns out the Shanghai Pork Pot Stickers are just Jiaozi. I have to be honest, that was a disappointing experience. The food was amazing, rotisserie chicken, amazing delicious but just the service was frustrating because i know it's the end of the day you know i was one of the last people to sit down and they wanted to clear the tables but everybody's like rushing around the waiters like five waiters dropping stuff and rushing past my table and speaking loudly like you just couldn't relax and try to eat dinner but yeah i feel like there wasn't very attentive because they just wanted to finish and just set the table and just go but not very relaxing The piano player is called Jacob, he's amazing. He's always in the atrium, I love listening to him play. It's currently 10.15, the comedy show is at 11 in headliners. So I'm gonna relax and then make sure I get a good seat because it's it doesn't sell out because there's no tickets, but it fills up quickly. They have this whole shop section. I haven't even looked. This is Cagney's, this is a steakhouse, and this is not included with your cruise. So if you wanna dine here, then you're gonna be paying extra. I think it's a la carte. Ooh, I bet that water's cold. Hopefully we get some nicer weather, like I was saying earlier. Every port now we go south, so the weather should be getting better. 
20 minutes until the show starts. I think I'm gonna go now just to make sure I get a spot because I don't wanna miss it. This guy's hilarious. <laughs> And I'm checking out my life tracker. I notice it's got tape all over it. First, I'm thinking, oh, great, it's going to leak, and they patched it. But the video said that's actually. Welcome back to the smallest cabin at sea. Oh, had a good day today. Got off for a few hours, and then it's been a good day, relaxing day. But tomorrow's another day, tomorrow's another port day. We're still in Spain, we're in Vigo, Spain. So if you want to see more, hit the like, hit the subscribe. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Cruising used to be for older people but it's not anymore got a really good reputation and so many people love it and i really wanted to love it but i didn't rainy day again it is a port day today we're in vigo spain and I'm in two minds whether to get off or not because the rain is pouring and it's cold. This ship is nice and warm, but I think I can get off for an hour. This might be the first time in my life that I can come to Vigo, Spain. So let's get off and take a look. We actually have only a few more ports left and then we have like five sea days in a row. So I think any opportunity to get off, I think it's worth it. If you haven't seen my cabin yet, this is a studio cabin and I can almost touch both sides. When I was packing for the cruise, an umbrella was something that I didn't know if I should take it or not. Well, I didn't know if I was allowed to take it, but I'm glad that I did take it and we're definitely gonna use it today. There's a video coming up very soon where I tell you how much I paid for a cabin like this. You'll be very surprised because I was very surprised when I saw the price, but we're gonna be doing a cabin tour, which includes something very special down the hall, but coming very soon. My cabin is on deck 11, but the gangway is on deck five, so let's go down. Before we get off, let's take a look at deck seven. Let's see how many people are staying on today. A lot of people staying at the bar, not going outside today. There's always stuff going on. So even though it's a port day, there's game shows and um, yeah, there's always something to do. Here we go. I'm walking the plank right now. Whoa. I might regret it coming off. It's 12 o'clock now and I see people coming back on board so I guess they got off early today. But everybody looks miserable. We got a friend today in Vigo. P&O Cruises, P&O Ventura. Next to Norwegian Getaway. Welcome to Vigo. They're giving out maps but I don't plan on seeing anything, I just plan on walking for a little bit, but it's very windy. Got some guys here selling umbrellas to the people coming off the ships. Smart guys. Over here we got Vigo's finest merchandise. Top quality. Yesterday we were in La Coruña, Spain. And the only thing I knew about La Coruña is they have a football team, Deportivo La Coruña. And the only thing I know about Vigo is they have a football team, Celta Vigo. But I just learned that Vigo is where Christmas lives. Everybody just living their day-to-day -day lives as normal. And then 4,000 people just randomly show up on a cruise ship. But I know in the Caribbean, the Caribbean islands, when a ship's in a port, like it's a big deal, like people in the stores and the restaurants like they prepare for it i wonder if, the, if it's the same for cities like this i wonder if it's a big deal when a ship comes into the city there's a big shopping mall next to the port and it looked like most people got off the boat and then went straight to the shopping mall but gotta take a look around the city not the shopping mall man there's guys everywhere 
selling umbrellas. Would it be Europe if we can't look at the church? Let's go inside the church. There's so many people just hanging out in the church. Service is going to start, we need to go. I'm hearing a lot of British accents. I'm guessing they're from the other ship, the P&O ship, because there's not many British people on my ship. But can you believe some people still think I'm American? Unbelievable. Well, it's unbelievable to me. Is it believable to you? Do you think I sound American? I don't. But at least I made a friend. And he's got his umbrella. I haven't eaten anything in any of the ports so far. Because, I, well, I've literally just had breakfast and then I step off, so never had a chance to. This is the football team, Celta Vigo. But of course, they still have the main teams in Spain, Real Madrid, Barcelona. The P&O ship must be full of British people because there's loads of them. The demographic on my ship is mostly Americans, there's some Canadians, and Chinese actually. And the age demographic is like over 60s. I haven't seen many people my age, and out of 4,000 guests, there's 50 kids. Excuse me, where does rain come from? Where does rain come from? Oh, thank you. I feel like most places in Europe are just so expensive now. Especially British people, they used to come to places like Spain for a cheap holiday, but it's not the case anymore. And it's not just Spain. There's many, many places in Europe. Many places in Europe are, are cheaper than the UK, but so many places in Europe are just as expensive as the UK now. A Halloween shop. I was actually thinking this morning actually that there's no Halloween decorations on the ship. I don't know if they're gonna do something on the 31st because today is the 26th or 27th so hopefully they're gonna do something actually on Halloween day but there's nothing yet. Rain's coming back. I just did a bit of research and apparently Castro's Fortress has a nice view of the city so we're gonna walk up there. We got some big houses over here. I don't know if this is a rich part of the city, but there's some very big houses. Made it to the top of the hill. I see some tour buses, so I must be in the right place. There's a cafe here and some cannons. Let's take a look in here. see the P&O ship we should be able to see the Norwegian getaway from over there so let's go over there there are some words that I know when I say it it sounds American like car I say car I just heard an American guy say croissant I definitely don't say croissant croissant here we go much better view of my ship it looks tiny from here but we must be pretty high up. We've got a nice view of the city as well. That is Vigo, Spain. These ships are tiny compared to some of the bigger mega ships. And I don't know when it's going to stop. Like, do you think one day 
there's going to be ships big enough to fit 20,000, 30,000 people. I don't know. Is it possible? I don't know. But I think the biggest ship right now can hold 8,000 or 9,000 passengers. It's crazy. But just because the ship is bigger does not mean that it's better. Because you could spend two weeks on a ship that big, you know, and not do everything and not see everything. So sometimes the smaller ship is a better option. Plus another thing you have to think about is ports. Because some ports, the bigger ships can't fit. Like they physically cannot fit. So the most unique ports are only for the smaller ships. So you're gonna miss out on a lot of cool ports if you go on a big ship. For example, I know a lot of the ports in Alaska cannot take big ships. So the only ship that can go there are the smaller ships. Cruising is amazing though. If you've never cruised before, definitely do it if you have the chance to. Because it's such a unique experience. Because you don't need to find a hotel, you don't need to look at transport, you don't need to look at trips, you don't need to, you know, there's so many things, dinner, entertainment, and on the ship, everything's right there for you. And everything is within a five minute walk. If you haven't been following along, this is day five of a 13 day cruise on board the Norwegian getaway. And every night I've watched the shows, I've had nice dinners, I've looked around the ship. So go and watch the other videos if you've missed them and hit the subscribe because we have another week left. And I'm very excited about tonight because we're watching a Broadway show and it's unbelievable. It's the show that I watched a few days ago and they're playing again tonight and I can't wait, it's so good. And another thing, cruising used to be for older people. But it's not anymore. It's definitely not. It's definitely family friendly. There's definitely a lot to do for kids on the ship. If you missed yesterday's video, we was in La Coruña, Spain, and the show was a hypnotist. And then I did have an unfortunate bad experience at dinner, but it's all good. Nothing's perfect. Just leaving Castro's fortress right now. I think we're going to take a walk back to the ship. The time is currently 1.30 and all aboard time is 4.30. They tell you what time to be back before you get off the ship. So don't forget because yesterday a guy was late and he was running along the pier. He was two minutes late. So he was very, very lucky to get on board because they don't wait for you. Almost back to the ship now. I just called my mum. And one thing that people don't realize is Wi-Fi on the ship is not free and it's actually very expensive. I think I don't remember the exact number, but I think for my cruise it was like two or three hundred uh, dollars just for Wi-Fi. So of course my SIM card is from the UK, so I have European coverage so I can use my phone when I'm in the ports. So when I'm on the ship and we're at sea, the only thing that I can do is iMessage iMessage is included in the free ship Wi-Fi, but that's it. Like you can't do anything else on the ship Wi-Fi unless you pay for it. The weather's actually cleared up nicely, stopped raining and the temperature's pretty good, but the ship was rocking last night. The waves were very big. I don't expect the weather to get better, to be honest, because we have two Portugal ports coming up so it might be okay for those and then we have five days at sea on our way to new york and i think the weather's going to be bad for all of those days i still don't know how that thing is floating how is something that big just floating there amazing Don't forget guys, quality Vigo merchandise available. There's so many of them. There's another one here, 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 here. There's so many. They're rushing. I think the police are coming. They're clearing up, they're clearing up. Here we go, we are back home. So windy. Back on the ship, let's go straight up to deck 15 and eat lunch. It's currently 3.30, hot tubs are full because the sun's come out. I'm heading down to the atrium, deck six, because there's a game show going on.
Number 17, which language was that? Do you remember? I need to check today's schedule, but I think the dueling pianos are playing again tonight in Headliners, which is right here. This is where I watched The Comedian last night. So funny. So this is for dining availability tonight. So these are the specialty restaurants and it shows you how much availability there is for tonight. So as you can see, Ocean Blue is very, very busy up until 9.30. Last night I had dinner in Taste. I was disappointed. So watch yesterday's video to see what happened there. It's four o'clock now, I'm back in my cabin. I'm gonna relax, watch some ship TV and get ready for tonight. Day five, we are ready to go. Tonight's outfit, we've got the green shoes, black shorts and a green shirt. We're going casual tonight. On the itinerary for tonight, 7 p.m. we have a Broadway collaboration. Nine, we have Howl at the Moon dueling pianos. It's so much fun, it's so funny. And then 9.30 we're watching the Broadway show, Burn the Floor. And in between there we're gonna have dinner and there's a few other things going on as well. I actually relaxed for longer than I expected because it's almost seven, so we need to go right now. Something very interesting did happen. So all aboard time today was 4.30. And around 4.45 they made an announcement for two people, they said their names. And this usually happens when either they're not on board or they're on board and their cars didn't scan correctly when they came back on board. So hopefully they made it. I don't have dinner reservations. So I'm gonna try and go to Shanghai, it's the noodle place. And hopefully I can fit it in somewhere because they don't have reservations so you just show up. Hopefully they have space. We are walking into the Illusionarium. Right up there. This place is so cool. This is where we played bingo a few nights ago. That was absolutely mind blowing. That was so good. So there was like 10 of them and they're all American. And they did Broadway hits, but with a twist. And so there's like rock and roll and pop, but they are having so much fun. That's what made it even more fun that they were enjoying it so much, but they are so talented. And they're actually the cast of one of the Broadway shows coming up later in the crew, so I'm so excited for that. Seriously, I can't even describe how good that was, but there's always something else going on. It's 8 p.m. right now. The next thing I want to do is at 9, which is the Dueling Pianos in Headliners, right down there. And then we have the other Broadway show at 9.30, so I have plenty of time to go and eat. I'm going to try and go to Shanghai's. Here's Shanghai's right here. It's an Asian noodle place. You don't need a reservation, but if they're full, then they're full. So that place Shanghai has just got a really good reputation and so many people love it and I really wanted to love it but I didn't it was it was average it was nothing special I don't know if it's just because I know what authentic Chinese food is like but nothing special I don't think I'll go back there I'm walking into the theater right now because the Broadway show is gonna start I wish I was allowed to record a little bit of the show because it's absolutely amazing. It's called Burn the Floor. It's unbelievable that people are so talented. If you ever go on a Norwegian ship and they have Burn the Floor, definitely go and see it. Definitely, I've seen it twice now. I'm gonna go check out the dueling pianos in Headliners. It is currently 11 p.m. and the only options to eat this late are room service or there's one bar restaurant that's 24 hours. Your only other option is Oceans, which is right here on deck seven.
Another day is coming to an end. This is the studio's lounge. I've been coming here every night to have tea. Tea and cookies. Yeah, I come here every night and there's never anybody here. I have no idea how many studios there are. I think maybe 20 or 30, maybe more than that, but there's no one here ever. This is what we have. Time change, clocks go about one hour. Tonight, laundry. Tell us about your vacation. We have seven more days. Why do I have this already? And Freestyle Daily for tomorrow, we are in Lisbon, Portugal. Day number five is finished. I enjoyed today, today was a good day. If you wanna see more, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Tomorrow we're in Lisbon. And then there's so much more coming on this cruise. So thank you for watching, see you next time. Bye bye. But there's so many people trying to bother you selling stuff. Americans, they were just, they were just talking about that and I was like, yep, I don't want to get involved in that, so I just got out. So I just started speaking to her in Chinese and she was so surprised, it was so funny. It is day six of my Norwegian cruise on the Norwegian getaway. It's finally a sunny day. Welcome to Lisbon, Portugal. As soon as I step off the ship, it starts raining, but at least the temperature's good. It's 20 degrees today, which is much better than it has been because this is the third country of the cruise. We've been to France, we've been to Spain, and it's been raining every single day. I have been to Lisbon a few times before, but I'm excited today to just look around, take a slow walk, and all aboard is 3.30. It's currently 11. A few of the ports I've been to already, there hasn't been a lot of people bothering you to buy stuff and trips and stuff, but this one, there's a lot of people trying to sell you tickets for the hop on hop off bus and excursions and taxis and like literally as soon as you step out the door they start bothering you. Here's a tip, don't wear your ship card when you walk around the cities because one, you're going to get bothered more by people because they know you're a tourist and two, they're going to put the price higher when you try to buy something, they're going to give you the tourist price. There is a misconception that everybody that does a cruise is super rich but it's not true because this cruise was so cheap extremely cheap i'm going to tell you very soon how much i paid for this cruise because you're going to be surprised how cheap it was you don't have to be rich to take a cruise but today i have no plans i have no excursions we're just going to explore the city take a walk around because lisbon is beautiful That is the Rua Augusta Arch that was built in 1755 to commemorate the rebuilding of Lisbon after an earthquake. I love Portugal in general, but like I said, I've been to Lisbon a few times. But there's so many people trying to bother you selling stuff. And you can't just say no, because you say no and then they follow you, they keep asking. But it's a beautiful place. The beach with the coldest water I've ever been to in my life was in Lisbon. It wasn't this beach, but it was freezing. It looks like it might rain. Ship is right over there. The last two days we've been in Spain and Spain and Portugal are very similar. 
but in my opinion I think Portugal's more classy than Spain so if you have to choose one of them go to Portugal Rain's coming. I left my umbrella on the ship. Oh no. A lot of people just ran into this church. The rain stopped for now. Let's keep walking. This place is a convent. Again, it was destroyed in the 1755 earthquake, but rebuilt. They're getting ready for Christmas here in Lisbon football store right here of course a lot of Ronaldo uh, Ronaldo shirts but the main team here is Sporting Lisbon that's where we were before right at the top this area is beautiful and the weather's clearing up now it's super sunny but I've been offered illegal stuff so many times I have a genuine question this doesn't just apply to Lisbon this applies to every single tourist city in the world so one two three four they all sell souvenirs but they sell exactly the same souvenirs so how do they compete with each other all four stores next to each other they sell the same stuff how there's another one here exactly the same another one another one another one like the rose souvenir shots but literally exactly the same products not even different stuff lisbon castle is up there we're not gonna make it today we're gonna head back to the ship there's so many police cars and ambulances uh rushing around so something's going on over there but we're gonna head back to the ship Lisbon has a lot of castles and a lot of the buildings were rebuilt because of natural disasters. We have another church here, many churches and castles. And ice cream, many, many ice cream shops. There's so many. I'm not sure what's going on, but I hope, hope it's nothing serious, but a lot of police and ambulance. Norwegian getaway. And just like that, back on the ship. It is 2.15, I'm gonna head up to the buffet to get something to eat. I have dining room reservations tonight, so I'm excited for that. And of course, there's so much else going on, but it's time to eat. Does anyone else think that it's kind of strange that the casino is just out in the open? Like, it's on the open deck, and you basically have to walk through the casino to get to the other side, unless you're on, of course, another deck but there's no like entrance to the casino basically headliners has comedy tonight le bistro this is a specialty restaurant you need to pay extra to go to here here is the atrium of course some game shows tonight just like every night Back to 
Ooh. Hot tubs are buzzing again. I need to get back in. I've only been in once. The garden cafe buffet is on the same deck as the pool area. Deck 15. Lunch was delicious. I've come and take a look at the sports court. Here they have a ro ropes course. And then up here, they have basketball, football. But the ropes course is open. I know it's been closed a few days because of the, the weather, the rain. But let me see what the situation is, see if I can take a camera. I guess no cameras are allowed. Another thing I haven't done is the slides. You can see they have two drop slides. So you just stand there and then the floor opens and then you go around. It looks super fun, but I think I'm gonna do the ropes course. It's a little bit windy, but let's try. It actually says that there's nowhere to store your stuff. So of course I still have my bag. So I need to go put my bag in my cabin before I come back and do it. Another place I haven't been in is the arcade. Like I said before, there's 4,000 people on this cruise and there's only 50 kids. So I'm sure if there was more kids, then this place would be full. But no one today. You can see that every game is pay to play. And I have no idea why that one's 217. But you just scan your card here. And then I guess it just charges to your room. But there is a, like an arcade package, I think it's $170 or something, and it's unlimited. There is another place that I went on the first day when I got on the ship, and I haven't been back there because I forgot where it was, and it's Spice H2O. I thought it was on deck 8, but no, it's on deck 16, and this is the adults only area. So this area is right at the back of deck 16. So back of the ship right there. And I'm pretty sure it's a quiet area, so there's no music playing. So it's always quiet. There are two hot tubs there, and there's four hot tubs on the main pool area, and they're always full. So I don't know if these ones are always full or not, but there's no one in these ones right now, and the pool deck is full. Also deck 16 aft is the American Diner. This is also not included in your cruise, so you can pay for each item. Also the same area is the Entourage Teen Lounge. This is 13 to 17 year olds. And the kids club is, I don't remember, somewhere over there. Lisbon is looking good. Turned out to be a super nice day. It's warm today. Time is now 3 o'clock. All aboard was 3.30. So I still see people joining, uh, coming back to the ship right now. So hopefully everyone's back in time. So again, here's the slides. I just see a, a kid going up there. So they have two drop slides and then they have some regular slides as well. And I haven't done anything yet. So I just asked the recreation staff if I can take a GoPro down there. And he said, for the regular slides, only a chest strap is allowed, which I don't have. Um, but the drop slide, no cameras at all. Here's the kids club, deck 12 forward. And I've just seen the nursery as well, deck 16 forward. Welcome back to the smallest cabinet. See, it is 3.30. So I think I'm going to go to the hot tub ready for the hot tub i'm gonna see how busy the pool deck is but i might go to h2o because it wasn't busy at all pool deck is super busy this is where you check out towels i'm gonna to check out h2o i don't want to squeeze in but they're all full so many people in the hot tub it's my fault i should have went earlier because now it's 3 40 p.m. and all aboard was 3.30 so everybody's on board right now so it's my fault some guy just did the drop slide this lifeguard is not paying attention the girl is swimming and he's talking I used to be a lifeguard so when I see lifeguards I watch them I think I'm gonna do slides and then go in the pool or hot tub if, if it's available. No cameras allowed, so I'll let you know how it is. Back in my cabin now, let's talk slides. Slides, really fun. The drop one is faster than expected, but it's okay, I think even the kids will like it. I went in the pool a little bit. It is a salt water pool, so it's not fresh water. And also, I was in the pool as we were leaving Lisbon, so the water was literally, there was waves in the pool, it was so cool. And also, we went under a big bridge, so everyone was like, uh. And I did get a spot in the hot tub, but I left pretty quickly because at the moment, while I'm on the ship, there's something going on in Maine, in the, in the US and I'm not gonna mention it, I don't wanna talk about it, but 
Americans, they were just they were just talking about that and I was like, yep, I don't want to get involved in that, so I just got out. Looking at the schedule for tonight, there's actually nothing I'm too excited about tonight. I do have dinner reservations at the other main dining room called Saver at 8.45. But apart from that, the main theater show is a juggler. Yep, acrobatic and juggling duo. Um, the comedians are back, which I've seen them already, so I'll see them again. But there's a Fleetwood Mac tribute, which should be good. But apart from that, nothing special. Ready to go, day six outfit. We have black shoes, we have cream chinos, and a green sweater. Let's go. You come on a cruise, you can prepare for everything apart from the ship rocking. And today it's been rocking a lot. And people underestimate it. If you've never done a cruise before, it is funny though to walk around and watch people like this, like trying to walk straight. Super funny. But it is seven o'clock right now. We have dinner at 8.45. We might go a little bit early, but we need to find something to do first. Because we do have dinner at 8.45, maybe I'll watch the first show. So there's two shows every night, 7.30 and 9.30. So maybe I'll go to the first show in 30 minutes. Letter P. So you will have to link with you which word is starting with letter P. So that's a game show going on in the atrium. And there's a comedy show going on in Headliners. But that's already full up, so they put a sign there when no one else can go inside. We are having dinner at Sava tonight. Here's Sava and here's Taste. We went there a few nights ago. In the kitchen, beauty tips and fun games. I will give you the chance to pay. 7.30 now, let's head to the theater. Wow, I was actually very, very pleasantly surprised. The tricks they did were amazing. It was like acrobats, and but it was actually funny too. It was an uh, Australian couple, so very, very funny, but amazing, so talented. But now it's definitely time to eat because I'm starving. It's 8.25, so hopefully I can eat early. Tonight we are eating at Sava. Hello, good evening. I just sat down, I got a window table. Oh my gosh, I'm absolutely stuffed. I had two main courses and two desserts, but it was all absolutely delicious. So, 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 so good. And oh my gosh, I was so happy with this seat. I have no idea how I got a window seat, but amazing view too. I'm definitely not gonna have any late night meals tonight, but it's 9.30 now. The Acrobat show is starting again, but I'm not gonna watch it again. And in 30 minutes, there's a Fleetwood Mac tribute and there's more comedy going on. There's so much going on. Something super funny just happened. So all of the crew on their name badge has their name and it also has their nationality. And I haven't seen any Chinese, if you don't know I speak Chinese, but I haven't seen any Chinese and I just saw one. There's a supervisor that works in the casino so I just start speaking to her in Chinese and she was so surprised, it was so funny. Ocean Music Fest is about to start. It's all of the bands on the ship playing together. But there's also a Fleetwood Mac thing that I want to check out now. That was so much fun. I love Fleetwood Mac. But I just got there too late. I could hardly get in the door. I listened to a few songs. I'd love to listen to that whole show because they have so many amazing songs. Oh, 
are the ship is rocking like crazy today was a good day i hope that you enjoyed day six tomorrow's day seven it's a sea day so if you want to see more hit the like hit the subscribe thanks for watching see you next time bye bye Welcome to day seven, it's a sea day. ship is rocking so much they drain the pool and all of the hot tubs are closed. It's currently 11 o'clock. The cast of the Burn the Floor show is doing a Q&A right now. are still closed. It's currently 1.30 and I just watched the football game around the pool but they're all still closed. How amazing is this view? So cool. It's super windy though. The pool is drained so there's no water but the hot tubs keep overflowing so when the ship rocks all the water comes out. To be honest, I'm a little bit worried about the weather because today's a sea day and then tomorrow we're in um, Azores, Portugal and then we have five sea days in a row before we get to New York and I don't expect the weather to get any better so if it's like this for five days in a row like you can't go to the pool, can't, can't go to the hot tub and to be honest, there's not a lot of activities during the day unless you want to drink or eat because people are just sitting around the pool just drinking um, well, of course, you can't go inside the pool and of course you can eat all day long if you want to. So hopefully we get at least a few days of nicer weather, at least pool weather, because yeah, five days of this is going to be difficult to be honest. But of course, it's the time of year. It's almost November, so it's expected. But yeah, five days, five sea days in a row. But we've got some people exercising. There are a lot of people sitting around the pool. But of course, no one is swimming. Everyone's just drinking. Slides are closed too. Ooh, it's so windy out there but yeah like I was saying there's not much to do to be honest during the day if you can't go to the pool like there's a few game shows and stuff but apart from that not much really but like I said if you want to eat and drink all day long you can definitely do that and that's what people are doing like the buffet is open right now people are sitting around the pool having a drink but yeah in terms of stuff to do not much I'm back in the cabin now. The buffet is right at the back of the ship and it's super rocky there. The ship is rocking so much more right at the back or right at the front. So it's it's crazy how rocky it is. But I'm gonna relax for a few hours because like I said, there's not much going on to be honest if you can't go to the pool, but there's a lot of fun stuff going on later on. So let's relax. Just watching football in my cabin. And I was just thinking that usually I'm okay with the waves and it doesn't affect me in any way. But today I've been feeling not sick, but definitely my head's been a bit dizzy. And the captain just made an announcement that tomorrow we're arriving in port late. He said because of the waves, we need to slow down so we can't go very fast. So that means that we're going to be arriving tomorrow um, in port at 12 uh, instead of 9. So I don't know if they're going to push the departure time back because it was supposed to be 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. But they've said we're going to arrive at 12 noon into the Azores Island. My cabin is on deck 11. It's in the forward as well. So it's right at the front of the ship. And it's definitely more rocky here than in the middle of the ship. Like the pool deck. The pool deck's right in the midship. So it's not as rocky as it is on both ends, but I definitely feel it here. Today has definitely been a relaxing day, which is good because sometimes I forget I'm on holiday and I just want to do everything and like so quickly and, but yeah, it's been relaxing. The only thing I've done today is I woke up late and then um, had breakfast and then sat at the pool. 
and then had lunch that's it and the ship time has changed a few times because of course we change uh, we go through different time zones so you can see that my phone says 6 11 but the ship phone says 5 11 and my phone doesn't change automatically unless I have uh, Wi-Fi which I don't always go by the TV or your stateroom phone so yeah I think I got back to my cabin at like 3 o'clock and the first thing I want to do is watch the show which is 7 30 so I don't plan on leaving until then but I do need to have dinner sometime because there's a show at 7 30 which is a juggler in the main the main theater tonight the main show is a juggler and then um well a juggler and a magician and then there's a show at 8 30 which is the broadway unplugged which is the cast of the million dollar quartet which is another main show which i'm really excited about it's about elvis and johnny cash that's coming up in a few days but they have like a separate show which is so good um i watched it already a few days ago and i'm definitely gonna watch that again so yeah i need to have dinner either before 7 30 or after 8 30 so let's see how i feel but yeah i don't feel great at the moment to be honest day seven we are ready to go today's outfit black and white nikes we've got the green chinos and the stripe sweater let's go it is currently 7 p.m we have back-to-back -back shows at 7 30 and 8 30 so nothing special tonight for dinner just gonna go up to the buffet get something quickly and go to the theater The elevator can be one of the most awkward places because you're stuck with strangers and someone feels like they need to say something. Hot tubs are still closed, pools still closed, they've been closed all day. I need to get something to eat very quickly, maybe like 10-15 minutes because I've got to get a good spot for the show. Just beef mac and cheese and wedges and milk. It wasn't much, but it was just enough. My stomach does not like this ship today, but it's eight, it's 7.15. We're gonna head down to the theater. If you don't know, look at the audience. Give it a point for So it was a sleight of hand magician. Amazing, like so, so, so talented, just not very entertaining, but it was cool. I'm gonna head down to the Illusionarium to get a good seat for the Broadway Unplugged. so much fun so many people tried to get in they had to close the doors i can't wait for the broadway show in a few days million dollar quartet now it's time to watch some dueling pianos I love the Julian pianos. You can request any song you want to, but they're also not super talented, but they're so funny as well. And I'm halfway through the cruise. Tomorrow is day eight. Here's the freestyle daily. And we are in Ponta Delgada, Portugal tomorrow, which is the Azores Islands. And we are arriving late, it should be 9 a.m. But no, we're gonna get there at 12 because the water is so rough, we need to go slow. Today was a good day. I still don't feel very good because of 
because of the waves, but it's okay. Tomorrow's gonna be a good day. Last day in port, and then we have five sea days in a row. Thank you for watching day seven here on board the Norwegian Getaway. If you wanna see more, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you next time, bye-bye. Welcome to the middle of the Atlantic. Today we're in the Azores Islands, which is part of Portugal, and this port is Ponta Delgada. All of these are people selling tours. We're not doing a tour today, we're just gonna walk. The time is currently 12.30. We did dock late today because we had to slow down because the waves were so choppy. Today is actually very significant because after today, this is the last port. And after today, we have five sea days in a row until we get to New York City. And as you can see today, the sun is shining, but it's a big but because it's the end of October, it's almost November. That means that it's gonna get cold and New York City is cold right now. So I think the closer we get to New York, the worse the weather's gonna get. So maybe the ship is gonna be rocking even more because yesterday was rough. So we're gonna spend a few hours here on this Portuguese island in the middle of the Atlantic. I was told by a member of the crew that today was a tender port, but nope, straight in. weather doesn't know what to do. It was sunny, now it's raining. I don't know if it's the weather or because it's Sunday, but where's all the people? Nobody here. I'm not sure how many people decided to stay on board today. But like I said, after today, you have no other chance to get off until the end of the cruise. And the pool is still closed. When I got off the ship today, the pool was closed. It was closed the whole day yesterday because the ship was moving so much. But hopefully we have a few good days coming up. Nice houses in this area. Very nice place to live. First up today, Jardin. Antonio Borges. It's Botanical Gardens. Weather will not make his mind up today. To change to hot again. This place is so cool. I know it's a very popular holiday destination, and there is an airport here you can fly here. But it's yeah, it's amazing. A lot different from mainland Portugal. There's a school just over here. I wonder, do you think that the kids going to school here in the middle of the Atlantic are happier? The kids going to school in downtown Lisbon. What do you think? I think they are definitely happier here than in Lisbon. These places look like holiday homes. That was a really nice park, really cool. I'm gonna head down the street to another park. I don't know if this is one of those places where there's not enough work for the young people, so they always move away. One thing that is surprising is there's homeless people here, which I didn't expect but there was a lot of homeless people bothering people uh, close to the port. If you haven't been following my cruise ship vlogs, then hit the subscribe because this is day eight of my 13 day cruise on board the Norwegian getaway. There's gonna be a vlog every single day until we get to New York City and there's gonna be a ship tour, cabin tour, 
so many more videos. It's been great to be honest, really, really fun, really relaxing. But I have a few worries in the next few days because like I said, this is the last port day and then we have five sea days in a row before we get to New York. And yesterday, the whole day, the pool was closed, hot tubs were closed, and there wasn't a lot of activities going on during the day, to be honest. So if we have bad weather again, the pool's gonna be closed. So I don't know what we're gonna do. The only alternative is to literally eat and drink all day because you can do that and that's what people do. And uh, yeah, let's hope for some nice weather. I did do the slides though. I think we're gonna go in here. Nope, it looks like that one is closed for the day. Let's make a new plan. Rain's coming again. Looks like a school right here. I might see if they need an English teacher. This place is great. I love coming to places like this because they're so different from where I live, basically. But visiting somewhere and living somewhere is, is not the same thing. So, so many people make the mistake of, oh, let me visit somewhere that's so beautiful and then they want to live there and it's not the same. If you're not sure where the Azores Islands are, it's not near the mainland. I just checked and the flight time from Lisbon to the Azores is around three hours. But it's still part of Portugal. I'm not sure what goes on on Sundays because like I said, there's not many people in the streets and like things are closed, like the supermarkets are closed. Like, I don't see anything open. I'm sorry to mention it again, but surprising number of homeless people here. I've been hassled a lot today. You can just see the ship right there. I think this is a fortress. I'm not sure if we can go inside. We've talked about it many times before, but every single port don't go so far away from the ship because if you're not back in time, the ship will leave you. It's not gonna wait for you. And we did see a few runners uh, a few days ago that only just made it. The only time the ship is gonna wait for you is if you're on an official excursion that you book through the cruise line. If you go and do your own excursion and you're late, they don't wait for you. Looks like we can go inside. Ship's right there. Can you see the rainbow? Wow. Do you think this was for cooking or do you think it's a toilet? I don't know. But I'm guessing this was for shooting. Always fascinated at which buildings survive things like world wars and natural disasters and some things don't. There's been entire cities that have been destroyed during wars and stuff. So is it just pure luck that some buildings survive? Imagine operating that. Looking out to sea, trying to find some targets. New York is that way. We're gonna be there in five days. Right now the ship is loading five days worth of food, water, fuel, everything they need because we're not gonna stop until we get to New York City. Found a new job, Let's see if I can get in there. That's a tight squeeze on guard. Just been sitting here relaxing, ship's right there. But I've been on social media and on the ship, the Wi-Fi is not free on the ship and I don't have the Wi-Fi package. So I have not been on social media um, during the sea days. And it's such a good thing because I'm sitting here like looking at social media and it's so bad. Like there's so many bad things about social media. Uh, there's so many good things, but yeah, it's good to take a break. I'm gonna head back to the ship now, it's 4 p.m. and it's crazy to think that the next time when I get back on board, the next time I'll get off will be in five days time in New York City. It seems like a very nice place, a very nice island. There are places to rent uh, bikes and cars because I know there's a lot to do that, like there's a few hikes and national parks and stuff. So I did see a long line for the car rental place, but yeah, nice place. I had some euros left, so ice cream.
and just like that we are back on the ship the next time we step off the ship it's gonna be in New York in five days this is actually the latest we've ever been back it's 5 45 right now and I missed lunch completely so I'm gonna go to the buffet right now and then I'll probably have a late dinner later on tonight slides are open hot tubs are open the pool is still closed it's not filled up yet so hopefully I don't have much hope for the next few days but hopefully we have some pool days coming up but yeah just arriving at the uh, garden cafe now the buffet I'll probably have something light and then hopefully I can I don't have a reservation tonight but hopefully I'm gonna try and go to one of the dining rooms back in the cabin now it's six o'clock I have no idea what's even going on tonight the main show is a um, vocal impressionist here's a tip if you ever go on a cruise take a pen a highlighter is better but I just have a pen because this is the daily schedule and what I do I underline the things that I definitely want to see and then if there's things like a maybe that I want to see it then I put a question mark so on tonight's itinerary we have the comedians back vocal impressionist 730 maybe i'll watch the cameo rascal that's the that was the main show yesterday it was pretty good and then the tribute to rumors which is fleetwood mac music so i'm gonna relax for about 30 minutes because our first activity is at seven day eight we are ready to go i've been wearing this all day i'm not gonna change i'm too tired but we have the green adidas we have the gray trousers and we have the red hoodie let's go first up tonight is the comedy show so we're gonna head to headliners Food poisoning? I lost six kilograms. See, a lot of Americans don't understand that. That's a funny show. We're going to head to the theater to see the singing impressionist. It wasn't my favorite show but it was a good show that guy's really talented but I'm gonna try and have some dinner I'm gonna try and go to one of the dining rooms now it's 8 20 I don't have an appointment so hopefully I can get in here is taste and here is savor I've been to them both but I prefer taste so let's try and go in I think I got it the wrong way word because I think this is the one that I had a bad experience at because I'm sitting at the same table but it's okay they get a second chance I was gonna get the steak again, but no, I got the grilled pineapple chicken. And she was super, I had the same server that I had before. I didn't complain about her, but I did speak to the manager because it was a bit uncomfortable, but she was super nice to me. Hmm. Like I said, when I went there before, I'd never, ever, ever mentioned the server's name. Like it wasn't her fault, it was like, it was, it, it was a few of them. Three seconds. I swear, Norwegian has some of the most confusing game shows I've ever seen. I don't get it. There's people losing big money in the casino. I have no idea what the last thing I filmed was because I got chatting to someone watching, um, watching a show. So today was a good day, but like I said, today was the last port day of this cruise. So the next five days are going to be at sea, which means the ship does not stop. There's supposed to be bad weather every single day. And recently the pool's been closed, hot tubs have been closed. There's been nothing going on outside. So everybody's been stuck inside the ship. And I think that's going to happen for the next five days. But there's some really exciting things coming up in the next few days. And I can't wait. There's going to be tours. There's going to be really cool shows so I can't wait to show you and when I say show you I mean tell you about it because it's hard to vlog on a cruise ship because the shows are the main thing and you can't record any of the shows so the only thing I can do is describe what happens anyway thanks for watching this day eight it's day eight yeah day eight if you want to see more five more days and then we get to New York City hit the like hit the subscribe thanks for watching see you next time bye bye
welcome to day 10 of my cruise on board the Norwegian getaway. Today is the second sea day in a row and after today we have three more sea days. Today I'm going to take you along and show you everything that I do on a sea day. And it starts right here in my cabin which is 100 square feet. I can almost touch both sides. So this is called a studio cabin which is designed for one person because I'm cruising alone. And this is what you get in a studio cabin. If you ever want to know the exact position of the ship, you can go to your ship TV. This is where we are, we're in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Our last stop was here, this is the Azores Islands and before that we were in Lisbon and our destination is New York City. Another cool thing you can see is the bridge camera. So this is what you'll see if you go to the front of the ship, just ocean. The ship TV is actually very important and not just for watching stuff. It's actually important to tell the time, which sounds crazy. As you can see from my watch, it's almost 10.10. 10. But if I look at my TV, it's almost 9.10. And another place to see the correct time is on your phone. And the reason my watch and, and my phone time are wrong is because of this. We had a time change last night. It says, please turn your clocks back one hour tonight as we enter a new time zone. And because my phone or my watch are not connected to Wi-Fi, it didn't change automatically. So make sure you have the right time when you're on the ship. And if you ever want to know how rocky the ship is, just watch this. Closes by itself. Rocky today. So I am ready to go get some breakfast. One thing I always take to breakfast is the freestyle planner and a pen. I'll explain later. I'm heading up to deck 15. It's Halloween today and I don't notice any Halloween decorations so I hope they do something on board. I'm taking a detour to deck 17 this morning just to show you this view. It's windy today, I'm hiding from the wind. I hope you can hear me but Look at this view of the Norwegian getaway. Wow! When I said we're in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, I wasn't lying. You can't see anything. You can't see anything for miles. Let's go down one deck to deck 15 to the pool deck and you can really see how rocky the ship is. Welcome to the pool deck. We have hot tub, two, three, four hot tubs and the pool is closed today but you can just see the water moving around because the ship's rocking. Here's the slides, the slides are open. I did all of them a few days ago. You can see that these two, they're drop slides. So you just stand there and then the floor opens and then you go all the way around. It's so cool. So you have a few options for breakfast, but the buffet is the main option. So let's go to the garden cafe. I was just, say I was just saying that I haven't seen anything for Halloween, but they do. It is busy this morning. And now it's time to plan your day. So this is where you need a pen. A highlighter is better, but I just have a pen. So this is the Freestyle Daily. This is the daily schedule. And this is everything that's happening today. There's a lot going on. So you look at the schedule, take your pen, and then you mark everything that you want to do for the day. So I've just marked all of the things that I want to do today, just so I don't forget. And the main attraction is the 945 show Million Dollar Quartet. First activity is pumpkin carving in the atrium. Let's go to deck six. Okay. 
that was cool i've only ever carved pumpkins once in my whole life but we're gonna head to the theater right now there's a memory seminar i think it's um something to help improve your memory and it's from the magician the magician uh did a show a few days ago Um, there's so many things we, we do when we get older and we, we're not exercising our mind. Everything I teach you today is... Wow, that was actually surprisingly good. He taught us how to retrain your memory to, of course, remember more stuff but he done it in a really interesting way. Like I said, that was a magician. He had a show a few days ago, a really good guy. So there's three main dining rooms on the ship. One is savor, one is taste, and then there's another one somewhere else. But they have breakfast, lunch, and dinner here, but I've only ever had dinner here, so I think I'm gonna have lunch. I usually have lunch in the buffet, but today we're gonna go to taste. That was absolutely delicious. The portions were huge, so I'm full. But that's the amazing thing about cruises. You can have food whenever you want to. very windy but this is the best weather we've had this whole cruise today is day 10 and I think the first whole first week was raining every day and look at it it's beautiful Pool is still closed, the water's very choppy but hot tubs are open. There's a lot of people sitting outside which is good because yeah the first week nobody was outside but it's so cool. I wonder why this pool is open and the other one's not, maybe because it's smaller. But yeah, I did all of the slides the other day, so fun. I'm gonna say it quietly, but the, the good thing about being on a cruise with older people is they don't wanna do the slides, so there's never any lines. I wonder how far my eyes can see. I also wonder how close is the closest shark? Could be right there. We're gonna head right to the back of the ship. There's something really cool. This area right at the back of the ship is called Spice H2O. It's the adults only area. And look at this view. It's adults only, but it's also a quiet area. So there's no music. There's also a huge arcade on the ship, but every single time I've been here, it's been completely empty because there's 4,000 guests on board and only 50 kids. So not many kids at all. So this cruise ends in New York City and then the next cruise after my cruise, uh, a crew member was telling me that there's again, there's gonna be 4,000 guests but 2,000 of them are gonna be children. So it's gonna be completely different from this cruise because this cruise, the average age is like 60. Ice cream, there's more Halloween stuff going on in the atrium, deck six. The kids club is right there. 
and it looks like they're decorated for Halloween. There's a lot of people dressed up, I'm surprised. We are gonna go play bingo. It's almost 3.30, I played bingo one of the first days of the cruise I didn't win I was three numbers away from five hundred dollars so we're gonna try our luck again today I'm not too sure how many people play but the day that I played before there were so many people but today not many people we're starting 20 minutes so maybe more people will come but more chance of winning Next ball coming out, look at the corners for your next one, B11, B11. And I didn't win. That's okay, I was two numbers away, oh no. The same lady won two games. It's five o'clock now, back in my cabin. Gonna relax for a little bit and change, get ready for tonight. Day 10, we are ready to go. Today's outfit, black shoes, red chinos, white t-shirt and a green shirt. Let's go. On the itinerary for tonight, it's currently 7 p.m. So we have a haunted house, because today's Halloween. And then we have dinner at one of the dining rooms. And then the show tonight is called Million Dollar Quartet. And I'm so excited to see this one. Million Dollar Quartet is a smash hit Broadway musical inspired by the famed recording session that brought together rock and roll icons, Elvis Presley. Johnny Cash, Jerry Lee Lewis, and Cole Perkins. Because this is a special show, you actually need a reservation to see it. All the other shows you don't, like The Magician or The Jugglers or whatever, you don't need a reservation. But for this one and Burn the Floor, the other Broadway show, you need a reservation beforehand because it's a special show and it gets busy. There's two showings and the first one starts right now at seven o'clock, but I got a reservation for the second one so I can have an early dinner, but it's time to go to The Haunted House. I'm not actually sure what the situation with the haunted house is. If it's like a walkthrough thing, like take your own time, or if it's a show. Because in the schedule, there's like four different viewings of it. Like there's four different times it's scheduled. So I don't know if it's a show. We have 15 minutes before the haunted house begins. So let's see what music is going on in the atrium. Can you believe the ship has its own bowling alley? But let's go down to the haunted house. It's like matches of men or degree that. Yeah, it's like I said, you get one for you. Uh huh. I'm gonna make it so very good. That's what it is. Thank you. Yeah, go. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, that was surprisingly good. I did get scared a few times. That was really cool. This is Bliss Lounge. I've only been in here one time. Cool. It's time for dinner. We had lunch at Taste, so we can have dinner at Savor. Taste, Savor. That dinner was delicious. It was prime rib of beef. 
Delicious. Let's go to the comedy show. This cruise is so much fun and now I'm so excited to watch the show. I'm going to go to the theatre right now. Show starts in 20 minutes. Let's go. What did I just watch? That was unbelievable. That was so, 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 so amazing. If you ever go on a Norwegian ship and they have million dollar quartet, go to it. That was definitely by far the most fun I've had while I've been on this ship. That was so good. Oh my gosh. A few things did surprise me. One thing, it was over an hour and a half. Like the other shows have been like 45 minutes, maybe an hour, but it was like an hour and 40 minutes. Another thing that surprised me is there's a lot of talking, like it's a story, but most of the story is about the manager or the record producer. Like there's not, there is a lot of singing, but not as much as I expected, but that was unbelievable. It was so good. Every single person in that show is amazing. But, but the guy that plays Elvis, Oh my God, he is so good. He's actually the same singer that I saw in Burn the Floor. He's amazing. And just because I had so much fun at the show and I was so happy, I went to the casino for the first time and that was a door. I went to the casino for the first time. I started with 200 and I left with $325. Anyway, thank you for watching. That was a day at sea on board the Norwegian getaway. What do you think? If you've never done a cruise before, would you do a cruise? I hope that you enjoyed it, but there's gonna be so much more because today was day 10 and there's a few more sea days before we get to New York City. So if you wanna see more, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. By the way, just before I go, if you've watched every single video so far from the cruise, I skipped yesterday, I didn't film anything, I just took a rest, so I skipped day nine. I think traveling is an amazing experience for anyone, but traveling alone, it can be a unique experience. And would you do it? Many people wouldn't do it, but I'm here to tell you, one, you should go on a cruise, but two, you should go on a cruise alone. Today is day 11 of my 13 day cruise alone on board the Norwegian getaway. Today, I'm gonna to tell you my tips and tricks, and I'm gonna tell you how I saved money traveling with Norwegian alone. slightly overcast day today but like I said this cruise is 13 days today is day 11 it's another sea day so far this cruise we've been to Spain Portugal France and we have five sea days in a row before we get to New York City it's 10 a.m. so it's breakfast time I'm heading to the buffet right now and let me show you what it's like on a sea day cruising alone delicious breakfast as always and being a solo traveler it's actually easier to get a seat because of course I'm only looking for one whereas if you're a couple or a family you need a bigger area but nope there's always a seat for me I'm heading downstairs to the atrium right now on deck six because there's always something going on
I feel like the reputation of cruising has changed because it used to just be for older people, but now it's definitely not. So many families love cruising, so many young people love cruising. They have cruises just for young people. So don't rule out cruising. Here are two of the main dining rooms. Here is Savor and here is Taste. And I've been asked many times, how does seating work for dining? Because of course I'm by myself, but I'm gonna explain later because Norwegian does things differently than all the other cruise lines. Later today I'm going to show you my cabin and I'm going to tell you why Norwegian does it better than most of the other cruise lines. And I'm also going to tell you how much I paid for this 13 day cruise from Southampton in England to New York City. You'll be surprised. There's a movie going on in the theater right now. Tonight is Million Dollar Quartet. It's an amazing show. It's about Elvis, um, Jerry Lee Lewis, Johnny Cash, and Cole Perkins. I watched the same show last night. So good that I'm gonna watch it again tonight. All right, you're gonna take a seat on one of these chairs, and there's gonna be questions that come up on the screen. <laughs> It's currently 2 p.m. and I'm gonna have lunch. Most people go to the buffet for lunch, but you can actually go to the dining room for lunch. So I'm gonna to go to one of the dining rooms right now. Or maybe I can't. Looks like the dining rooms are closed for lunch. No idea why, because they're usually open, so we're going to the buffet. Slides are still open. Let's see if the pool's open. It wasn't open the whole day yesterday. Pool's still closed, very windy out there. This is of course the gym. I came here the first day and it was so, so, so busy so I never came back. I did have a massage here a few days ago. It was amazing, so good. So I'm on deck 12 forward and here's the kids club. But look what I just saw. I found a little captain duck, it was a pirate duck. If you don't know, like this is like a thing on cruises, people bring ducks and then hide them around the ship for other people to find. This is another place I haven't been, the ice bar. So you need to wear the big coats because it's freezing inside. There's always trivias every day, but I haven't done any, I haven't played any of them, I've watched a lot. But today is flag, so I think I'm gonna play because I'm good at flag. And I won, I can't believe I won, I got 18 out of 20. And it's annoying because I had the correct answer for one of them, but then I changed it. I had, I had Kenya, but then I changed it to Malawi and the correct answer was Kenya. And I knew the other answer as well, but I didn't know how to spell it. So that's why I only got 18, but I won. Whoa, that was 
windy. Let's do it again. Whoa, very windy today. So the time is currently 4 p.m. And I'll be honest, this is the kind of time where I don't like being by myself because there's not much going on. Um, everyone's pretty much getting ready for dinner. There's a few activities still going on, but yeah, this is the quiet time in between lunch and dinner where there's not much going on. So this is where I don't like being by myself. I found some shade. But talking about being by myself, this cruise has been so much fun. Even though I've been by myself, and I know a lot of people wouldn't have done it. A lot of people don't even like going to dinner by themselves, let alone traveling by themselves. But it's been really fun. Of course, I'm not the only one that's traveling solo on this cruise. There's actually a lot of people um, traveling by themselves. So I've had a lot of opportunity to meet other people. I've spoken to a lot of people, very, very, very nice people. When I found this cruise and I was thinking about should I book it or should I not book it? And I just thought to myself, going alone is better than not going at all. And I'm so glad that I came. It was, it's been a lot of fun. Like I said, it's been so relaxing and there's been no pressure to do anything that I don't want to do because of course I choose what I do when I, when I do it. If I don't want to do something, then I don't do something. There's been a lot of times where in the afternoon, I just went back to my cabin and slept for an hour or two hours or um, like in the port days, I went out for a few hours and then came back. If you're with a group of people, you with your family or whatever, then you need to make a decision and talk about it. But I want to do this and this and whatever. You know, so in that aspect, I really enjoy being by myself because I do whatever I want. You're gonna see it tonight, but something Norwegian does, it's called freestyle dining, which basically means you eat whenever you want. And it sounds strange, but other cruise lines don't do that. Most cruise lines, they have a set dining time. So for example, 6.30 and 8.30, and you choose a time you go. So you have to go at 6.30 or 8.30 because that's what time they start serving dinner. But here, if I want to eat dinner at 9 p.m., I can do that. If I want to eat dinner at 6 p.m., I can do that. One of the advantages to being alone is I've never, ever, ever had a problem getting a table. And there are specialty restaurants on board, and then there's the main dining rooms. There's three main dining rooms on board. But you need a reservation. Well, I say you need a reservation for all of them, but I haven't needed a reservation for any of them. Because I've been alone, it's very easy to find one seat. And if you have five people, of course, you need to wait. You need to make sure there's a table big enough and it's, you can't get a table immediately for five people. It's the same with the shows, to be honest. Like, the amount of times that people leave one seat in between someone else because they don't want to sit next to someone else, that's my seat. You know, that's the seat I take. So there's always, even right down the front, I can always get a seat wherever I want when I want to watch the shows because people leave empty seats and that's for me. It's definitely great being alone because I feel more free. You know, if I want to go into a show last minute, I know I can get a seat. If I want to go to dinner at any time, I know I can get a table because I only need to find one seat. So how about the negative? So like I was just saying, this time in between lunch and dinner, this is kind of, not the boring time, but this is the time I wish I was with someone because there's people are literally just sitting around drinking and eating and you can only do that for so long. And like I said, I've been on board for 11 days, but what would I do if I was with someone? You know, I think I would still do the same thing. You know, like I said, most afternoons I go back to my cabin and relax for a few hours because there's not much going on on the ship that I want to do. You know, there's plenty of trivias and there's a lot of seminars and um, so there's a lot going on. But a lot of times I just skip it and just go to my cabin. Talking of cabins, Norwegian also does something that most cruise lines don't do. They have specialized cabins for solo travelers like me. and. Should I just show you? Let's go to my cabin and let me show you. Actually, before we go, let me do this one more time. Here we go. Let's go. So we're gonna go down to deck 11. That's where my cabin is and that's where the special cabins are. So here on deck 11, you can find the studios. These are all studio cabins and these are all designed for one person. Here is my cabin, 11535. So welcome to my studio cabin. So I'm not gonna do a full tour today, I'm just gonna show you quickly. There's a video coming up very soon where I tell you everything 
about the studio cabins but as you can see it's pretty it's not small I was gonna say it's pretty snug but it's not it's definitely enough space for one person let's see storage we have one wardrobe we have storage up here we have another wardrobe here there's more storage here shelves here plenty of storage here suitcase under the bed more storage here full-length mirror bathroom and shower that is everything you need for yourself on a cruise ship so I think this cabin is absolutely perfect for one person absolutely perfect there's nothing here that you don't need you have enough space for yourself it's around a hundred square feet so it's not massive I can almost touch both sides but it's enough so now let's talk about the price how much did I pay for this 13 day cruise on board the Norwegian getaway so the cruise started in Southampton England we went to one port in France two in Spain two in Portugal we left the Azores island which is part of Portugal a few days ago and then we have five sea days in a row before we get to New York City overall 13 days another detail I don't have the drinks package and I don't have the Wi-Fi package these are the two packages that most people buy when they get on board I'm not a drinker so there's no point in me getting the drinks package and the Wi-Fi I don't need it I'm actually very very happy that I didn't get it because it feels so good to not be on social media every day but of course if you're a drinker that's gonna put your price up and if you need the internet that's completely fine you know a lot of people I've seen a lot of people working on their laptops while they've been on board and if you need it that's cool luckily I don't need it so the overall price I paid for this cruise for one person 13 days is five hundred and eleven dollars five hundred and eleven dollars for 13 days that works out at about thirty nine dollars per day you can't get a hotel for that anywhere Plus here, I'm getting food, I'm getting the room, I'm getting entertainment, of course I'm traveling, $39 per day. The reason I think these studios are so great is because most rooms are designed for two people, right? Of course they have family rooms, but they don't design rooms for one person usually. And if I went on another cruise line and I sailed alone, they would charge me for two people because I'm taking the space of two people, but here I'm not because this is a room designed for one person. I did read recently that some other cruise lines are starting to do this because a lot of people do travel by themselves and you'll be surprised how many people cruise by themselves. So I think it's great that they're starting to cater more for solo travelers. And I did look at other cruise lines and they wanted to charge me twice because of course I'm taking the space of two people but I was traveling alone and if they sold it to two people instead of one, of course they would make twice as much money. So it just, it just doesn't make sense for me to pay for two people when I'm one. This only applies for these studio cabins. If I had a balcony cabin or I had a bigger room, they would charge me for two people because I'm taking the space of two people. But if you have the studio cabin, this is a space for one person. So they're gonna charge you for one. It's, I'm trying to explain it, but it's a big deal. It really is a big deal because if I traveled by myself on another cruise line, I'd have to pay double. So like I've already said, I'm more than happy to be by myself, eat dinner by myself, um, travel by myself, but a lot of people don't like that. They like traveling by themselves, but they like to meet people. So how do you do that? There's so many ways to meet people. Like the game show I just played, the trivia I just played, you just start talking to the people next to me. We're gonna talk about dinner later because there's something a little bit different you can do at dinner. But like I said, you just walk around the ship and you start meeting people because everybody's on vacation, everybody's on holiday. So it's very informal situation, you know, and people expect other people to talk to them. You know, so many times I've sat down to dinner, I've just sat around the pool or I've been anywhere really and I've just started to talk to people and that's how you make friends. One other great thing that Norwegian does is inside the Freestyle Daily, this is the daily schedule. You can see that at 5 p.m., solo travelers gathering so this is a meet and greet for solo travelers and i went there and there's a lot of people there there's a lot of people traveling by themselves so that's the time for all of the not single people all of the people traveling by themselves to go there and meet other people traveling by themselves another great thing about the studios is let me go show you it's down the hall
that was a studio lounge and you need to be staying in the studio to go to the lounge which is great because they know that everybody in there is a solo traveler so it's another great way to meet people i don't want to make people uncomfortable by talking so i'll come back to my cabin but i think it's really cool and i go there every single day because they have tea and coffee uh, cookies and there's always people there which is great if you want to have a coffee and chat with people a lot of people go there in the morning have morning tea or um, I go there just before I go to bed I have tea before I go to bed and there's always people there talking so the time now is 4 45 and what did I say at 5 it's the solo travelers gathering so let's go to the bliss lounge So there you go, that was the solo travelers gathering. And it's every single day, it's been in the schedule every day at 5 p.m. in the Bliss Lounge. And that's another great way to meet people. I just spoke to so many new people that I'd never seen before on this cruise. And like I said, everybody is a solo traveler as well. I got invited to dinner and they're making plans to do other stuff. So like I said, even if you come on the ship alone, if you want to stay alone, that's completely fine. But if you don't, there's so many ways to meet people. I'm back in my cabin now. The show starts in one hour. So I'm going to relax, get changed and get ready for tonight. Day 11, we are ready to go. Tonight's outfit. We got black and white Nikes, gray tracksuit bottoms and the black chocolate t-shirt. Let's go. Decided to go with a casual look tonight, but it's 6.45 now. We're heading straight to the theater because the Million Dollar Quartet show is gonna start at seven. It's unbelievable. I watched it last night and I just had to watch it again. Luckily, there were still reservations. But like I said, it's about Elvis, Johnny Cash, Cole Perkins, and Jerry Lee Lewis. Listen to the wind. Wind is howling. That show is absolutely unreal, like beyond amazing. If you're ever, ever, ever on a ship and they have that show, go and see it. If you don't do anything else, go and see that show. It's amazing. Elvis is my favorite. There's a comedy show going on. It's so funny, but I gotta eat. It's nine o'clock. Man, this cruise has been so much fun. But that show, Million Dollar Quartet, it makes me so happy. That's the happiest I've been since I've been on this ship. I actually don't know how late I can sit down and eat. Like I said, it's nine o'clock now, and I don't know if that's too late. There are other options, but I want to go to the dining room. I'm going to head to Tropicana. Hopefully, I can get a table now. dinner as always the ship is so rocky tonight so when you have dinner alone you have the choice like they were literally asking they say do you want to sit by yourself or do you want to sit with other people and then that's up to you you make a choice if you want to sit alone or you want to sit with strangers this is another good thing with Norwegian because it's freestyle I think that if you had a set dining time so 6 30 and 9 30 for example you would have to sit with other people like you would have no choice but here you can, if you want to sit with people and make friends, then you can. If you want to sit alone, then you can. It's midnight, but before I go to bed, I can show you the studio lounge. So we have some seating upstairs. 
no one's here right now more seating here two TVs we have cookies and pound cake water lemonade coffee machine tea bags here we have wine over here and there is a bartender here from five to seven so like I said earlier this space is only for people staying in studio so solo travelers So there you go, that was a day as a solo traveler on a cruise ship. What do you think? Would you take a cruise by yourself? And what do you think about the price? $40 per night for this cruise. I think it's an amazing price. It's been so much fun, but it's not over yet. I still have a few more days. So if you want to see more, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. The calmness of the ocean. It's beautiful and terrifying. Hello everyone, welcome back to another day on board the Norwegian getaway. Today is a very, very, very sad day because it's the last day on board. It's the last day of the cruise. I can't believe I've been on this ship for 13 days. It's been so much fun, it's been amazing, but tomorrow we will be in New York City. Today I wanna to show you what happens on the last day of the cruise because it's not just any other day of course everybody needs to get off so there's a lot of preparations and it's a sad day if you haven't been keeping up with these series of videos then go back and watch the rest of them because it's been so much fun everything from the ports to entertainment to dinner to shows to everything has been so amazing if you don't know I've been sailing alone and to be honest I did have some worries before I joined but Doing it alone is better than not doing it at all. And I'm so glad that I did this cruise. It's been, it's been amazing. Today is actually gonna be a pretty chill day. There's not, well, there is a lot going on, but I just wanna relax and get ready for disembarking tomorrow. But one thing I'm gonna miss is looking at that view. I could look at that view for hours and hours. This is a very, very, very calm day because we've had some very rough days at sea this cruise so disembarking a ship is not the same as checking out of a hotel of course there's a lot of things that need to be done before you can get off the ship and every single person there's around 4,000 people 4,000 guests on this cruise they all need to be off this ship at 9 30 tomorrow morning because at 10 30 tomorrow morning 4,000 new people will get on the ship you have a few options when you're disembarking the ship and i'll talk about them a little bit later i've already chosen my disembarking time tomorrow and i've also chosen what i want to happen with my luggage because that's a choice you also need to make as well and that depends on what time you want to get off the ship i found a little duck The pool has actually been closed for the last two days, but it's open today because like I said, the ship is not rocking very much, but it's still rocking a little bit. And if you watch the pool, you can see the water moving. You can see that the water is going side to side. That's because the ship's rocking. Weather today is absolutely beautiful. The sun is out and there's a tiny, tiny bit of cold wind but it's so, so amazing. And this view, look at this view. And you know that water is cold. I have done absolutely everything that this ship has to offer, but one thing I haven't done is the ropes course. It's been closed for a few days, so hopefully we have time today, it opens today and we can do it. But up here is the sports court, they have basketball and football up there, but the ropes course, imagine the view from there. Arcade. It's almost lunchtime, but yeah, like I said, today's been a super chill day. They had a Q, uh, Q and A today with the captain, so I got to ask the captain a question. So that was cool. But I'm dreading it. I don't want to do it, but sometime I need to go back to my cabin and pack. I've already been given the information, like what time I need to pack by, what what I need to do with my suitcase. So I'll explain all that when I 
go and do it later. I don't want to do it, but yep, it's time. It's that time. Man, I just love that view. It's so peaceful. I wonder, I wonder how close the closest shark is. Is that a stupid question? There is still so much going on on the ship today. And a little bit later, there's a raffle to win a free cruise. It's 2 p.m. now, gonna head to the buffet for lunch. I'm gonna miss the food so much. I can't believe it, I just saw a whale. It was so close to the ship. So many people were standing there looking at it. I just pointed my camera at it, so I hope you can see it on the video. Bingo is about to start, and I'm not gonna play today, I've already played twice, but every time you play, you get raffle tickets. And the raffle is today, and the winner is gonna get a free cruise. So let's go. I'm gonna miss being on the cruise so much, but one thing that's un undoubtedly amazing is the service. Every single crew member, they work so hard. Entertainment staff have been great. All the people that do like the game shows and bingo and stuff, really amazing. Of course, housekeeping, everybody has been so good. Just heading into the theater now with my raffle tickets. I didn't win, but it's okay. A lady won a free cruise in the Bahamas, wow. I'm gonna go back to my cabin and at least start to pack. And I'm gonna show you what you need to do about your luggage. So right here is the atrium, and here, this is where you get your luggage tags, and you need to choose a time that you wanna debug. So yesterday I was given this information. This is how you debug. Because like I said, it's not just as simple as get your case and get off. Because the luggage tag, if you get a luggage tag, that means that you don't want to take your own luggage off. You can walk off with your own luggage if you want to. So basically, if you don't get a luggage tag and you don't put your suitcase outside the room tonight, that means that you need to take your own luggage off the ship. And this starts at 6 a.m. So this is good for people that want to get off the ship very early if they have a flight or whatever. But I'm in no rush and I chose my luggage time for 9 a.m. So my case will be off the ship at nine, that's when I can get up. So this information here is very important that you read it because it tells you where you can have breakfast. You can go to the Garden Cafe or Saver, but they stop serving dinner at 8.30. It also has information here about how to settle your account. That means that you need to pay for whatever you bought on the ship. So of course there's no cash on the, on the ship. You just use your key card every time you buy something. And I just set up uh, automatic, just charge me on my bank account, so I don't need to do anything. But some people didn't do that. They wanna go there themselves and pay. So the information regarding what you do with your luggage is very important because it needs to be done tonight. If you do it tomorrow, it's already too late. So it says here, you need to pack, you need to put the luggage tag on your suitcase and put it outside your cabin tonight between 7 p.m. and 11 p.m. Because the crew's gonna come, they're gonna collect it, and they're gonna get it ready to be taken off the ship tomorrow. So, if it's after 11 and you still have your suitcase, you need to take it off yourself. But remember, that also means that if your suitcase 
is outside, you need to prepare and you need to make sure you have clothes, you need to make sure you have everything you need for tomorrow because of course you need to wake up and you're not gonna have your suitcase. It's only 5 p.m. now, so I have a lot of time and it's not gonna take me that long to pack, but you need to make sure it's done before 11, otherwise you need to self-disembark, take your own suitcase off. So basically what they're gonna do tomorrow is they're gonna say the color of your luggage tax and mine is pink, so when they say, okay, pink is ready, that's when I can get off, I can't get off before then. Well, I can get off, but my suitcase won't be off. A lot of people actually choose to take their own suitcase off, which is fine. You can do that. You don't need a luggage tag to do that. You just keep your suitcase and then you wheel it off yourself. This, this can be done at any time. If you need to be off at eight o'clock, there's no guarantee that the color that you choose for eight o'clock is going to be ready. But if you have your own suitcase, you can get off guaranteed at eight o'clock if you need to. Oh, I don't want to get off. I'm so excited to go to New York City, but I don't want to leave. So basically what I need to do now is I need to make sure I have clothes for tonight and I need to make sure I have clothes for tomorrow because my suitcase is going to be gone. We are making good progress. I can't believe that tomorrow morning I need to leave, but it's okay. So many more adventures coming in the future. I'm going to get ready for tonight and we are ready to go on the last night of the cruise. Tonight's outfit. We have the green Adidas trainers. We have the cream chinos and then the striped sweater. Let's go. Packing is pretty much done. It's currently 6.30 and I need to make sure that I come back before 11 to put my suitcase outside because otherwise they won't take it. Before 11 should be fine. I just need to remember to come back, but I can't believe it's the last night. And something disappointing about tonight is there's no like farewell show or like a big goodbye. Of course, there's a theater show tonight, which I'm not going to because it's something that they've already done and I didn't like it. First thing we're doing tonight is at seven and it's the juggling act. They were really, really a couple from Australia. They were really good. So I'm going to watch them again. But yeah, the main show I don't, I'm not expecting to watch it because it's not very good. No dinner plans tonight, but I'm hoping to go to Tropicana. So on this ship, there's three main dining rooms and Tropicana was my favorite. So I'm gonna try and go there after this show, but we're gonna head to the Illusionarium right now. Amazing show. It's so funny, but it's so good. They're so talented, but I'm gonna go to Tropicana and try to have dinner <laughs> So I just had dinner and it was probably one of the weirdest dinners I've ever had in my life I just came back to my cabin to finish packing and then I put my suitcase outside, but it was just so weird. So I've talked about it before, what happens as a solo passenger when you go to dinner. And whenever you go there, they're gonna ask you, they say, do you wanna sit by yourself or do you wanna sit with other people? And I usually just sit by myself because, because of literally what just happened. So I'm waiting in line and the guy in front of me, he goes there and says, oh, is there any sharing tables left? And the host says, no, sorry, we don't have any space. Um, you can sit by yourself if you want, but but there's no one else that wants to share. And he was like, oh, okay, I'm going to go somewhere else. So then I stepped up. I said, I'm also alone. Um, like, I'm happy to sit with you just so you don't have to go somewhere else. Like, I'll do you a favor. And then he was like, yeah, yeah, okay, let's sit together. Like, this guy, he's, I've seen him every single day. And he's famous around the ship for wearing colorful suits. He... Like the other day he had like a Christmas tree suit. He's had like a bright pink. He's had like color. Yeah, everything. Um, never spoken to him, you know, and so I had dinner with him. In England, we would describe him as a Fruit Loop. And 
it's not a bad thing. Like he's a really nice guy, but he's those kind of people that he has a story about everything. And I just sat there for an hour, just hearing so many stories about just random stuff. And he had a story about everything. What made it worse was another couple, um, a married couple from Wales, Welsh couple. They sat next to us, and so they kind of like joined the conversation. And he was just talking and talking and talking like so much nonsense like just story after story and i'm sitting there like oh my gosh this is like painful but i was just like yep yeah, yep yeah. so i was i was literally like nodding for an hour because i couldn't even speak he was like speaking so much i was thinking recently actually that i haven't like i've i've, I've ate dinner alone like every single every single night and that's fine like i you know i have no problem with that and i was thinking like should i have like met more people because i've met people like a lot like just speaking to them and then okay bye see you later um but should i have had dinner with like strangers like just just like just to chat you know like it, it doesn't bother me having dinner by myself um but tonight just made me realize like sitting with strangers is is, is very hit or miss like it could be great or it could be very very strange like tonight so i'm kind of glad that I just sit by myself and I, I, you know, I can speak to people during the day, but yeah, being stuck at a dinner table with someone who just keeps talking and talking like, yeah, it's, it was funny, like, but it just, yeah, it was strange. Anyway, I just need to finalize what's going in the suitcase and what's not, because like I said, anything that goes in, I'm not going to see it again until tomorrow. So I need to make sure I have stuff for tomorrow morning and then I need to put my suitcase outside because my luggage tag is ready pink another thing that i completely forgot about is the weather it's november now and new york is cold so i need to make sure that i have warm stuff because like i've just been wearing shorts every day but i need to make sure that i'm prepared and there you go suitcases outside this cabin has been my home for the last 13 days and it's been amazing, but the night's not over. It's only 10 o'clock, so let's go and have some fun on the last night on board. There it is, ready for tomorrow. I'm so excited to go to New York City, and I don't wanna be out too late because I do plan on waking up super early to watch the sailing. So the arrival into New York City, apparently is the best in the whole world to see the skyline and stuff, so waking up early. Can see some people have put their suitcases out and then they're just going to come along and take them away i spoke to someone earlier and they said that they were on the last cruise this cruise and next cruise so they're doing three cruises in a row not much going on tonight just music so we're just going to relax probably about an hour and then get to bed and get up and get off the ship oh no chili so that was dueling pianos so good one of my favorite things on the ship but they're super funny as well and they played let it be i asked them to play let it be and they played it but last night of the cruise in about five hours time the new york skyline is going to be right there as you can see everything now is closed Close for the night, close for the cruise. This cruise has been so much fun. It's been so amazing. I'm so glad that I did it. And I can't wait to do another one. I was thinking about it today is like, um, there's so many places you can go on a cruise and it all just sounds so amazing. So hopefully I can do another cruise very, very soon. Probably somewhere hot next time because it's freezing. It's so crazy to think that we have not seen land for five days. And in a few hours, we're going to see New York City. I'm excited. Wow, let's go to bed. It's freezing.
I've had tea here every single night for the last 13 days and it's the last time. Suitcases are still here. And so is mine. Well, there you go. The cruise is over. I hope you enjoyed these videos. I enjoyed this cruise so much. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Of course, one more day tomorrow, you're gonna to see me disembarking the ship. We have breakfast and then we disembark and then we're in New York City. So that means more videos are coming. So hit the like, hit the subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time in New York City, bye. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Disembark Day. Welcome to New York City. I'm on my way to my last meal on board. It's gonna be breakfast and then we're gonna disembark. We also have friends this morning. Mickey's here. Disembarkation process. We are now calling all our guests. We are both call our tenants. I've walked along this pool deck every single morning for the last 13 days but now it's just about waiting for my color to be cool so last night I chose my departure time and maybe I'm the next one my color was approximately 9 o'clock and it's currently 8 45 so it's just waiting now goodbye Norwegian getaway If you decided that you wanted to take your own luggage off, you can leave whenever you want. As early as 6 a.m. they were letting people off uh, self-disembark. But I chose to just meet my luggage outside, so now I'm waiting. I just saw Johnny Cash from the Million Dollar Quartet. That was definitely the highlight of this whole cruise. That show was amazing, and also the other, the other, uh, the other Broadway show, Burn the Floor. But so many people were just waiting around, waiting for their color to be called. Casino. I'd love to know how much money was lost this cruise. So much, I bet. Here we go, it's a sad time. We're leaving the ship right now. Just 13 days ago, I was walking along this gangway, boarding the ship in Southampton, England. Thinking about it, it's gone really fast, but it's been so much fun. Welcome to New York City. Officially on US soil. Welcome to New York City. Goodbye Norwegian getaway.